I'm just sitting here chuckling at what you've written, Fred. <laughs> I'm also eating a bowl of noodles, so I apologise for any eating sounds you might hear. Um, there was something else I was going to tell you. My phone's just helpfully telling me that I'm live on YouTube. That's good. I'm pleased to see it tell me these things. Oh, yeah, um, the vet may ring me during the course of the live stream because the vet rang me about some test results while I was at work. For the cats, not for me. <laughs> and then I rang the vet back, but the vet is very busy because she's a vet, so she might ring me back today or tomorrow. Um, so, yes, the vet might ring during the live stream. And, um, you know, I might just have to disappear because the vet might ring. And I'm just going to eat some noodles. <laughs> It's literally the only food I have in the house <laughs> because it's shopping day tomorrow. So I'm just sitting here eating noodles. <laughs> it's been one of them days today, you know, where like nothing goes drastically wrong, but nothing goes quite right. It's one of them days. I'm here in my pajamas at bloody <laughs> nearly four o'clock in the afternoon <laughs> eating noodles. Anyway, um, hello everybody. Um, hope everybody's well. Um, yeah, well, yes, welcome back to Dragon Age. Just remember what you're actually doing. <laughs> it's me just thinking we've all just, you know, popped in for a chat and forgetting I'm actually playing a game. Hang on, okay. Oh. Right. Okay. Um, just find a place to put me noodles. Hang on, put them there. Okay. Welcome back to Dragon Age Origins, everybody. Um, and to Dora Bella's playthrough. Uh, today, we're going to go and do the Circle Tower. I was trying to choose between Red Cliff and the Circle last time. And uh, the Circle won, because I think it just makes more sense. I know Red Cliff makes more sense story-wise, but you go to the Circle first, you get all of those delicious fade attribu attribute points. I want to be able to wear the battle dress of the Provocator. Um, and uh, well, first, though, we're going to uh, we're going to get everybody kitted out in like armor and stuff like that. We're going to talk to Bodan. We'll talk to what's his name over there, Levy Dryden. We'll have a little chat with everybody. We'll do all of the general, you know, camp stuff, um, which should you know give people a chance to actually tune in because I, I am aware that I, I I I I forgot to put posts up about this live stream, but you know, <laughs> I was going to and then I forgot, so that's why you got like ten minutes notice. Anyway. <laughs> Um, right, okay, so, what should we do first? Should we sort everybody's inventory out? Because, you know, Lil has just stood here in, like, her chantry robe and everything, and Sten's over there in his really crappy clothes. So, get everybody's inventory sorted out. We've started off with two viewers, according to YouTube. I always, I, I always assume that there's more than what YouTube tells me, because YouTube seems to underestimate, um, um, yeah. Sorry, I'm just reading what Fred is writing in the chat. I was going to say what people are writing in the chat, but it's just Fred at the minute. That's fine. Anyway, um, right, should we sort myself out first? So I've got that belt, but I think that belt was better, wasn't it? Yeah, that was Constitution, man. I know I always say Constitution is a lie, but I, I, it's, it's a good idea to get Constitution points from your equipment. It's just not worth wasting Constitution on them. Um, wasting skill points on Constitution. Sorry, I'm a bit not quite here today. <laughs> Been a bit sleep deprived all week and then last night i slept brilliantly but you, you know when you've been sleep deprived for a while and then you have one night of really good sleep and you actually wake up feeling worse yeah because <laughs> you've kind of got used to being sleep deprived <laughs> anyway um uh right you think the two viewers are, are what oh you think it's the two of us do you fred I, I don't think i count as a viewer because i'm not viewing it like, I'm doing it. I'm not viewing it. And also, I've definitely had zero views before, so I can't count as a viewer, right? I don't think I do. Anyway, anyway, if it's just you, that's fine. That's, we can just hang out, can't we? Um, what am I doing? I'm trying to work out what armour is uh, I want. I think I've got the best armour. I don't want splint mail because I'm a rogue. Um, I think I've got the best armour on, don't I? Yeah. And weapons! I don't think... Um, could I actually have a long sword with my dagger? Oh, I could, yeah. Of course I could. Um, uh, shut up, Fred. <laughs> um, I could have an Oathkeeper. I usually give Oathkeeper to Alistair. But I could have Oathkeeper. Armor penetration and healing effects received. Oh, should we just give ourselves Oathkeeper? Give ourselves Oathkeeper. And then we've got... Uh, 
Uh, my dagger is 4.4 plus 4 attack. And that is... Oh, that one's better, man. Or is that a main hand thing? I think that's a main hand thing, isn't it? Okay. That's fine. We'll do that. You know that sword is almost like the height of Dorabella. <laughs> does it cut her ankles off while she's walking? I bet it does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> this happens sometimes with dwarves and elves when they're walking along. But they're, if they have like a really long sword, it just like chops their ankles off while they're walking. <laughs> That's quite cute. Um, um, that was everything, wasn't it? I think that was everything. Okay, right. Alistar. Uh, you're already in heavy chain mail. Um, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm distracted myself. Right. You're already in heavy armor. He could wear the battle dress with the provocator, actually. Which I know isn't really his kind of armor normally, but... Um, um, it is very good. And I don't think Liliana can wear it, can she? Yet. But we'll keep him in his heavy armor because, you know, he just looks better like that. He looks sexier. And he's already got a better sword. We'll let him keep his sword. You can have the, the warrior's belt, though. Uh, I'll let you have that. Morrigan. I don't think I've really got anything for Morrigan, do I? I've got some chastened robes, but I think hers are better. Like, two, two magic is better than six defense, right? For a mage. I feel like that's better. I feel like it is. Um, and then we wear out with accessories. We're still on the image screen, are we? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> is that better? <laughs> Were you just like waiting to see if I would figure that out on my own? <laughs> God. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh dear, it's it's been a it's been a long day, man. <laughs> it's been a really long day. I'm gonna have some more of my noodles. Hmm. <laughs> God. Right. Okay. Hang on. Ah. <laughs> I love how you waited so long to tell me as well. <laughs> You're just like sitting there going, is she going to figure it out? Should I say anything? <laughs> um, right, we've got nothing to give Morrigan. Come on, woman. Wake up. Uh, we do have some... Do we not have some enchanter's footing? I'm sure we do. I'm sure we did. We did, did we not have mage boots? I'm sure we had mage boots. Maybe I accidentally sold the mage boots. That's very odd. I'm sure we did. We did, right? I'm not imagining that. Oh well, you could have some leather boots. Yeah, we could have some leather boots. A bit of extra armour. Not going to do no harm. I mean, we could put her in armour if we really wanted to, but um, we won't. Um, <laughs> um, um, yeah, and we could give her the Enchanter's Arming Cap, which I know, like, it's plus one willpower, which is good and everything, but look at it, man. I mean, look. It completely ruins our outfit. I just, I just don't like it. <laughs> Just, I'm already playing on normal difficulty. I don't think it makes that much difference. Um, yeah. Get that off. Because uh, she looks better without it. <laughs> I think you might be the only viewer for it, I'll be honest. I think it might just be you, but that's okay. This, this is hardly like my finest hour, is it? <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'll just read what Fred's written. <laughs> now, did you do that, Fred? Did you do that to be cruel? Or just, did you just do it because you didn't have the heart? Was it just one of those things where you were just like, I know I have to tell her, but I just can't. <laughs> because I do things like that as well. <laughs> um, I've just noticed we have loads of money for this part, for this early in the game. We've got like 16 gold. That's amazing. Uh, that's our doggy. We don't have anything to give our doggy, do we? No. Sten. Oh, what should we put Sten in? Actually, we'll do Liliana first. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll take Liliana's dagger off her because I don't want her to ever use it because yeah, she's just, you know, she's better than that. We'll put her in some leather armor. Yeah, she can't wear the battle dress of the Provocator, which I think is hilarious because obviously she did wear the battle dress of the Provocator in the Liliana song DLC. But then by the time Origins comes around, her strength isn't high enough for her to wear the battle dress of the Provocator at the beginning of the game. Um, and I just like the idea that all of all that time that she spent, like in the um, 
in the chantry, she just like, you know, put on a bit of weight and she can't fit into it anymore. I just, <laughs> I just like that idea. And we'll give her some boots, uh, some gloves even. Um, and she's already got some boots. Yeah, okie dokie. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, I feel you, Fred. I feel you. I understand that completely. I think me and you are just hanging out together at the minute. I don't think there's anybody else. That's okay. Um, um, what am I doing? Yeah, and there's none of that. And we need to give her a bow. That's what we need to do. We need to give her a bow. Um, we'll give her, we'll give her the one that we've got. That's a good idea. And we'll give her some fire arrows. Excellente. Oh, I everybody know there was Sten, wasn't there? I left Sten because you've told me that he looks good in Liliana's robe. He does look very sexy in Liliana's robe. I admit. That was, uh, yeah. Good, good advice. He looks great. Um, um, uh, we could put him in the chase and robes. <laughs> he looks quite sexy in my part. I mean, may as well. I'm not going to be taking him anywhere anytime soon. Or we could put him in heavy chainmail, heavy chainmail boots that don't have any gloves for him, so he's just going to have his. You know what? He actually looks better in the chase. Should we put him in the chase and robes? Since we're not taking him out anywhere, we'll just put him in the chase and robes just for now. Until I'm actually going to take him somewhere. Uh, then we'll give him the chase and flat blade, I think. There we go. How awesome does he look there? He looks totally cool. Um. He's not going to be much use, but you know, he looks good. Only thing that really matters. Um, um, we could give Liliana a canary thickened cap, but again, it just... Oh, it doesn't look too bad on her, I suppose. We'll put that on her, why not? Why not? Um... <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? How was I going to talk to everybody? Should we go and talk to Bodan first? Talk to Bodan. Right. Hello! Good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodan Fenwick, at your service once again. I saw your camp and remember the kind offer that you made the last time we met. And is there anywhere safer for a poor merchant and his son to sleep? I think not. I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Sorry if you can hear any eating noises. I know they don't sound nice, but um, <laughs> I'm hungry. Um, oh my god, we've got a second viewer. Are you a new one? I don't think I've seen that name in the chat before. <clears throat> so, whew, well, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed anybody's managed to find me. Right, okay, um... Um, 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 yeah, let's just let me see your wares, Bodan. Sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Okay. Buy the health portuses. Always buy the health portuses. And the lesser health portuses. And the injury kits. Uh, yeah, you're a new one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, the pressure. The pressure. Um, uh, how new? Are we talking like literally just stumbled across me doing this live stream or like watch the videos or, or what? Um, because I find a lot of people seem to be just stumbling across me purely because of the live streams. And I find that very strange. That's not what I was expecting to happen. But you know, that's all right. Uh, um, sorry, I'm just eating me noodles. Right. Um, 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 what am I doing? What am I doing? We'll buy the backpack, even though it's expensive. But we need the backpack and then we can get rid of, get rid of all this shit, can't we? Um, keep the ice arrows. Get rid of that. And... Not get rid of the battle dress of the provocator, that would be bad. We'll keep the army cap, that might might be good for win, maybe. Um... <sighs> Uh, we've got gifts to give people as well. Sorry, I'm just reading the chat. We've got a new viewer. It's not not the live stream to tune in to a new viewer because I'm not on my game here. <laughs> anyway, hang on. I'm gonna finish me bloody food. There we go. You won't have to endure any more eating noises. All right. Okay. 
Okay. Right. Okay. We're good. Right. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do because we've got gifts to give people. So, um, see if I can remember what belongs to who. Most of this is Morrigan's, isn't it? Morrigan likes jewellery. So we'll give her a tribal necklace. Boop. A fine gift. You have my and a shiny gold ring. A fine gift. You have my thanks. And silver bracelet. Interesting. Oh, silver bracelet might have been one of like the generic ones that you can just give to anybody. It's difficult because Morrigan likes jewellery. But then there's like generic um, gifts that you can give to anybody. And most of them are jewellery. So, you know, you kind of. Can't always work out what belongs to. Uh, gold rope necklace should be Morrigan as well. Or is that a generic one? That might be a generic one. I don't know. We'll try it. Yeah, no, that was for her. Okay. Uh, Leliana, you can have bronze symbol of Andraste. Oh, she's happy. Right, um, that's for Ogren. The ale It's possibly for Ogren, but that also might possibly be a generic one. I can't remember. I think it's a generic one. Um... Fred is telling me that the carved statuette is for Sten. I was sure that was for Alistair. He likes little figurines, doesn't he? I'm sure Alistair likes little figurines. Should I trust Fred? Oh, it's the question I always have to ask myself in these live streams. <laughs> All right, Fred, I'll take a chance on you. See if you're right. Unexpected. Thank you. That was plus five. You might have been right. I don't know. Maybe that was a generic one. Who knows? Right, okay. Um... I'll give the ale to Alistair. Because Alistair doesn't like me much at the minute, does he? No, I sort of threatened a priest and he kind of didn't agree with it. <laughs> Wasn't happy with the whole, uh, uh, threatening a priest thing. Give him the ale. See what he thinks. Yeah, that was a generic one. Okay, so. Should we do a tour of the camp? Have a little chat with everybody and then we'll head to the, uh, the circle tower. Um... Okay, Morrigan, my love. Hello. Should we have a little girl talk? I await your command. Um. Does that mean she already likes me? I'm sure that's the 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 thing that she says when she already likes you a bit. So I I, I gave her lots of gifts, and now she likes me a lot. Sometimes I think the gifts make it a bit too, you know, easy to get to like you. You see what I mean? Um. <laughs> Um, yes, I'd like to ask you something. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> yeah, she definitely already likes me. We haven't even talked to her yet. Um, hmm, let's ask about Flemeth. <laughs> well, that depends, does it not? What does she seem to be? She seems to be... Let's go a nutty old bat. <laughs> Sometimes I do wonder the very same thing. Tell me, how much do you know of the tale? The one that the Chasens still tell of my mother, to frighten them into obedience. Um, <clears throat> well, considering I grew up in Dust Town, I imagine I haven't heard anything about it, so I'm more interested in the truth. I can relay what Flemeth once told me herself, and you can decide whether or not tis the truth, if you desire. Um, yeah, sure. As the tale is sung by the bards, there was a time when Flemeth was young and beautiful. A fair lass in a land of barbarian men. The desire of any who saw her. Uh, <laughs> yes, just how long ago is this? Many centuries before this land was even named Ferelden. The tales say that Flemeth fell in love with Osin the Bard and fled the castle of her husband, the dreadlord Conobar, and that he swore vengeance for her infidelity. In truth, my mother claims that t'was Osun who was her husband, and Conobar the jealous lord who looked on from afar. Lord Conobar approached young Osun and offered him wealth and power in exchange for his lovely wife, and Osun agreed. Doesn't Morrigan have the best storytelling voice? I would have, like, bedtime stories by Morrigan, like a podcast or something like that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, it seems like a fair deal to me. Aye, it was. It was Flemeth who suggested the arrangement in the first place. All would have been well had Lord Conobar kept his end of the bargain. 
but he was a foul man who bargained with coin he did not possess. Osen was led off to a field and slain, left for dead. Flemeth spoke to the spirits and learned of the deed, and swore revenge. Um, yeah, she was now married to a wealthier man, though. I mean, well, yeah, I think Dorabella and Morrigan have quite similar mindsets when it comes to their sort of, like, practicality over, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Idealism. Um, yeah, so wasn't she now married to a wealthier man? That was not the point. Conovar had no honour, so she would not have him. Flemeth begged the spirits to aid her, and was they who slew Conovar. The demon the legend tells of came later. Lord Conovar's allies chased Flemeth, you see. Chased her to the wilds, and there she hid. There she found the demon, and he made her strong. The legends all speak of the great hero Cormac, he who defeated Flemeth and her great army when she invaded the lowlands centuries later. All lies. <clears throat> yes, witch that she never invaded or he never defeated her. The truth of the matter is that there was never an invasion. As Flemeth tells it, the Chastened never raised an army under her banner and she never fought with any warrior named Cormac. Cormac led a brutal civil war against his own people and later claimed it was to vanquish evil that had taken root amongst the lords. Thus, he was hailed a hero. Flemeth was only attached to the legend much later. Perhaps it was due to the great war with the Chastened that eventually came, but Mother claims not to know how it began. Okie dokie. And also, um, all of these names, like Olsen and Conobar and Morrigan and even Cullen, are all um, taken from Celtic mythology. So there you go. That might interest you. Or not. I don't know. <laughs> But a lot of the names like you'll come across in Ferelden are from Celt well, they're either have Celtic roots or they're from Celtic mythology. I have many books on Celtic mythology and whenever I'm reading through them I'm always like, oh that's from Dragon Age, that's from Dragon Age, that's from Dragon Age. <laughs> um, right, okay, um, <clears throat> right. How has Flemeth survived for so long? The demon within her has transformed her into something else. An abomination perhaps, some would say. I know not. I only know my mother is clever, and she is part of the wilds as it is part of her. But she is no immortal. She bleeds. A blade in her heart would kill her like any other, were it lucky enough to find her. And... Yes, aren't abominations usually insane horrors? I don't know how Dorabelle would know about that, because she wouldn't really know anything about magic or, you know, the kind of... Um, uh, actually, it's interesting playing as a dwarf, particularly like a castler's dwarf. Because she's not really going to know anything about the whole mage templar kind of issue. Or about why you should fear magic and mages, or about abominations and blood magic. All of this kind of stuff is completely new to her. And I like... I like the reason I like the whole idea of the, like the, the concept of origins, where you can play as like, you know, several different origin stories throughout the game, is that like... Once you know the world really well and you know the law really well, you can play from the point of view of the character and sort of like, you know, so like a, a, a common dwarf's perspective of the world is going to be very different to like a major's perspective of the world. They're going to be interested in different issues and they're going to have different opinions and they're going to care about different things depending on where they've come from. It's one of the things I really like about Dragon Age Origins. Um, <clears throat> I know they did say that the origin stories, they spent so much time doing when they were developing the game they spent so much time on the origin stories themselves um and how they kind of you know affected different quests and stuff like that it meant that a lot of the actual main quests weren't as um complex as they were originally going to be because you know they had to dedicate their time to the origin stories but i still think it was worth it because i think that they you know just being able to do that to experience the world from a different point of view depending on where where your character started from i don't it just it just it you know it makes a nice I don't know what I'm trying to say. It makes the game unique in a nice way. Um, they should bring the origins back, shouldn't they? Um, right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, aren't abominations usually insane horrors? How often is this usually? Always? If not always, then when is it not true? There are more things in this world and the next than you or I could ever hope to understand. What Flemeth became is a mystery. I suspect even to her. 
I mean, I know what she became, but that's only because I've played Trespasser. <laughs> um, uh, yes, the legends tell of Flemeth having many daughters. You ask if I have sisters? I have asked of this myself. The stories tell of many witches of the wilds, after all, not just the one. And these tales existed long before I did. Flemeth refuses to speak of other daughters, if they existed. So, should I believe I am her first? I doubt that too. Uh, why would she refuse to speak of them? The Chastened tell of a falling out between Flemeth and her daughters. They say that one day she hunted them all through the wilds and ate their hearts. It may be true. I have never seen another witch or heard of one. Perhaps one day Flemeth will eat my heart as well. Uh, I love that line for some reason. I'm just the way she says it. Just like, perhaps one day will Flemeth eat my, Flemeth will eat my heart as well. I'm just like, yeah, cool. Um... <clears throat> Um, right, uh, sorry, whenever I go, um, it's because I'm reading the chat. Um, <laughs> also, it's just something that I do a lot. Right, do you believe her version? I do not believe everything that Flemeth claims. Often it seems her bitterness has coloured her memories. But on the whole, yes, I believe this tale, if not all. Can you hear that cat meowing? Hello, buddy. What? What? Such a drama queen, aren't you? Um. Sorry, I'm. I, am I missing something, Fred? What are you talking about, Flebeth and Hannah? <laughs> oh wait, no, I get you. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I am slow on the uptake today. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh dear. Right, uh, I, I get it, I get it. <laughs> right, uh, yeah, interesting story. Thank you, my dear. Flemeth tells it with far more embellishment than I, but you are welcome. Dare I ask of your own mother? Few are abominations of legend, tis true, but I find myself curious nevertheless. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is good. This is one of my uh, favourite things about playing as a common dwarf is that you get to say, my mother is a useless drunk, if you must know. And I think it gets approval from her. But I can't, I can't remember if that's true or not. Um, I f I, uh, yeah, I got, but I, I'm sure I've read somewhere that that gets approval from Oregon. But yeah, uh, my mother is a useless drunk, if you must know. Oh, then you have my sympathies for what it is worth. Which is very little, I am certain. It matters not. Let us move on. Okay, Doki. Well, I got plus two approval from her. Feels a bit low. I thought we bonded during that conversation there, Morgan. Um, right, I tell you what, we've been going like half an hour. We haven't even done now yet. So, we'll uh, we'll leave the conversations with everybody else till later. And we're going to head to the, uh, yes, Circle Tower. Who do we want to take into the Circle Tower with? Um, hmm. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be Morrigan and Alistair. Do we take Liliana or do we take the doggy? Oh, decisions. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Should we give Liliana an outing? It's just because I'm a rogue as well. It feels weird having two rogues in a party. But then we'll be picking Wayne, uh, Wayne, win up, won't we? So we'll probably kick Liliana out at that point. Uh, we'll take that lot. And we will go to... Uh, Lake Callanhad Docks. Right. Um, We're coming here to see the mages, right? Oh, great. They just love me. <laughs> Poor Alistair. I mean, you know, you were an ex-Templar. <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, I think, you know what, I think the, the Majors and the Templars, like, going to war with each other is the biggest friggin' con by the Chantry, because the Chantry is like, they have a common enemy in the Chantry. I mean, think about it, right? Majors are taken from their homes when they're young, and they're locked up in the tower, right? And, you know, it, uh, yeah, it's for their own 
safety and everything. But some of the towers are pretty awful, like the White Spire and Kirkwall, you know, and terrible things happen to them. And, and you know, they, they don't really have any autonomy over their own lives and they have to, you know, get permission to leave the tower and things like that. And they're always escorted by Templars. And, and yeah, that's very bad and everything. And they can be made tranquil if they're considered to be too dangerous and they have to go through the harrowing and yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the Templars are also... I mean, many of the Templars that you meet throughout the course of the game didn't really have much of a choice in the matter about becoming Templars. They were, like, you know, put in orphanages run by the Chantry and then given to the Templars, or they were, you know, their nobles who were sort of given to the Chantry by their parents in some sort of deal to give them more influence with the Chantry. Or, you know, they were just, like... I don't know, I think it's... Is it, um... What's her name? Meredith, who is, like... Was it her sister or something like that who turned into an abomination and then she was just, she, you know, she was just kind of taken into the Chantry and, and came into... Anyway, and these Templars, all, also often taken quite young, basically taught to fear magic and are then shoved inside these towers, locked up with a bunch of mages who they've been taught to fear. They have to witness the harrowings and the abominations and everything and they're addicted to lyrium so they can't really leave. If they do, they just become, you know, homeless lyrium addicts. Like, they are also victims of the Chantry. The Chantry is the common enemy here, and they've managed to get you fighting each other. It's like, how eh? If you teamed up, you could take down the real evil. It just really annoys me. <laughs> when you go on the subreddit and people are, like, arguing about, what, you know, whether the Templars are evil or the mages are evil, and I'm like, neither of them! <laughs> You're missing the bigger picture! Anyway. <laughs> uh, there's a guy over there we need to kill. We'll do that in a second. Need to loot these sacks first. Very important. Very, very important. And we'll go and get this elf root. Ooh, Mages Collective Liaison. We'll talk to him in a second as well. Right, okie dokie. So, talk to you. Hello. I have some kind of problem. Well, unfortunately, I have to kind of kill you because, you know, side quests. Oh? What is this about? Um, yeah, you stole supplies from the guild. I worried this might happen. I hoped it wouldn't be you who came for me. I have no choice. Forgive me, Warden. But I cannot go back with you. Okay, okay. Um, I don't, know, I don't know how he knows who I am. I mean, I'm not very famous at this point, but okay. <laughs> well, uh, dirty fighting him a bit. If I can get everybody to attack him, because he's like the bigger threat. We'll go over to Morgan. I haven't sorted anybody's tactics out or anything yet. Have I? I, mean, I usually like to play the game a little bit before we sort out tactics. To you know, because y your party's always going to be different depending on what class you're playing and then what kind of. You know, abilities your character is specialising in and stuff like that, so... It's like to get a feel for, you know, how the party is functioning before we actually set the tactics. Um, you know, Alistair's gonna die, isn't he? Pretty useless twat that he is. <laughs> um, do a bit of a mind blast, knock this guy out. <clears throat> um... Uh... Morgan is apparently blocked. I think she's actually kind of like hitting Liliana in the arse. <laughs> Instead of hitting the guy. Okie dokie. Alistair didn't die. Well done, Alistair. I'm so proud of you. Uh, some guild supplies and a health potion. Excellent. Doing pretty good on the old health potions. Rob these barrels. Oh, sorry, just sorting me a uh, chair out. Oh, we've got, a, we've got a returning viewer in the chat. Hello, returning viewer. Uh, I've got little nicknames for everybody. I've got like Welsh person and <laughs> returning viewer. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, um, mages quite liaison. Well. Let's talk to you. You know what? We'll just skip through this conversation because we're going to end up spending this entire flipping live stream just listening to characters talk. Yes, I should take a look at your requests because you are going to pay me money, and I like money. And we'll just accept all of these, and then you know kind of stumble across them out in the wild and then we'll be like was that a quest I picked up? Apparently that was a quest I picked up and then we'll complete the quest and it'll be like yeah that's cool <laughs> side quests are like um, okay, Dr. Kesta hello oh, I bless myself. what's a distinguished personage like yourself doing here? Um. Um, sorry, I'm reading the chat. Uh, he, 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 he. Yeah, I want to get across the lake to the tower. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. No one's been allowed across the lake for days. I'm the ferryman. Leastwise, I used to be. Poor old Kester. Out of a job. Uh, yeah, why, my dear friend? I don't got a clue. They wouldn't tell me. 
Gregor just came down and said, Don't you worry, Kester, we got it all under control, we do. Didn't say nothing else. And then he puts Carol in charge of my boat. Lizzie, named for my grandmum she was. Okay, so something's wrong up at the tower then. I like Kester. I told you, they didn't tell me nothing. And if I know they're mages, I'm better off keeping out of their business. If I had to guess, I'd guess it had to do with magic. But the tower's always got something to do with magic. Uh, okay, right, yeah, but you know, I'm I'm on official business. Don't look at me. I told you I'm not the ferryman no more. Gregor's told me to stay here till it blows over, but I'm telling you, some storms don't blow over easy. Okay, well, thank you for your help, my friend. You're too kind. Your type don't usually give my type the time of day. <laughs> I mean, I'm a castless dwarf, love. I don't know what sort of type you think I am. I mean, I know I'm a Grey Warden and everything, but I don't think that's apparent from, you know, the uh, the clothes I'm wearing. Okie dokie. So, we're going to have a little chat with Carol. Oh, how are we going to deal with Carol? Are we going to threaten him? Are we going to uh, persuade him? Are we going to get Liliana to, like, flirt with him? Because that's always funny. <laughs> yeah, I think you can get Morrigan to kind of flirt with him as well, maybe. Can't quite remember. We'll you. see. You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a Grey Warden and I seek the assistant of the mages. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. <laughs> uh, yeah, prove it. Kill some darkspawn. Come on, let's see some righteous Grey Wardening. Hmm. Yeah. Um. So yeah, there kind of aren't any dog spawn about, love. That's good, I suppose. Wouldn't want dog spawn smeared across the landscape. I hear their blood is black. Is that true? You'd know if you were a grey warden. Well, actually, controversial point because in the books the blood is black. However, in the games the blood is like literally not black. Like when you stab them, the blood they bleed isn't black, and you can say here that the blood is red. But if you read the Dragon Age books. Dragon, sp uh, dragon spawn, <laughs> dark spawn blood is black. So I don't know. It's a bit of a uh, continuity error, to be honest. There, Carol. Um, yeah. Why not kill a dark spawn and find out for yourself? That's a great warden job. You'd know if you really were one. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now on your way. Right now, go. Okay. Um, I warn you, my patience is very thin. Your spirit won't like that you give me trouble. Can't we work? Something? Yeah, say, can't we work something out? Dark Art Temptress over there. Surely the tower would be far too dull for her. Because it gets a little lonely out here sometimes. And, you know, you could just leave her with me. Oh, excellent. I have been hoping for new prey. Prey? It'll take but a moment. Perhaps you should go aboard the vessel to prepare while we are away. We must row ourselves across. I fear the lad will no longer have the use of his limbs or his eyes. Oh, well, um, maybe I, I should, um... Wonderful. I can sense his terror. Oh, that will make the loving all the sweeter. So, you said you wanted to get across. Maybe we should go now. Right now. Now! <laughs> yeah, you can also get a one with Leliana, but I think Morrigan's is actually funnier. Um, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Come along, I suppose. Two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. The doors are barred. Are they keeping people out or in? Now we wait and pray. Okay, that's a very ominous thing to say to a complete stranger who's just walked up to you. So, you're Gregor, I assume. Who are you? I explicitly told Carol not to bring anyone across the lake. We're dealing with a very delicate situation. You must leave for your own safety. Um, yeah, the Mages have an obligation to help the Grey Wardens. I seek the Mages' help to defeat the Darkspawn, not with the pro with promise of assistance in the coming war. Yes, I seek the Mages' help to defeat the Darkspawn. I am weary of the Grey Wardens' ceaseless need for men to fight the Darkspawn, but it is their right. You'll find no allies here. The Templars can spare no men, and the Mages are indisposed. 
I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. The circle is lost. The tower has fallen. You can tell because the paintings are all skew with in the background. <laughs> you know, just to make sure that you really know the circle's in trouble. Um, okay, so how did this happen? What are abominations? I mean, we just talked to Morgan about abomination, so it would be a bit weird to ask that now. Um, sounds like the Templars haven't been doing their job, Gregor. Yeah, um, yeah. do you need somebody to fight demons? Because Dora is always spoil spoiling for a fight. Like, she would pick a fight with a dead dog with Dora. So yeah, if you need somebody to fight them, I'm your woman. I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. Okay, what's the right of annulment? The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the mage circle. Mages are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. Okay. <clears throat> My way, I could go and clean the tower out now. You're right, the abominations cannot be allowed to leave. There must be another way. It's unfortunate, but I see you have, any, you have little choice. Okay, so we... We're not going to... Kill the mages. At least I don't think we are. <laughs> so, sometimes when you're role playing, you know, you end up making decisions that you didn't plan on making because in the moment you're like, oh, actually, would this character really do that? Um, but I think, like, when being first faced with this situation, Dora would be like, yeah, we'll just go in and, you know, kill all the abominations. Why not? I've got a sword. I'm good at stabbing things. There's things in there need stabbing. I'll go and do that. And then she'll be, like, talked round by Win. That's kind of my current plan. Um, so, yeah, uh, I could go and clean the tower out now. I assure you, an abomination is a force to be reckoned with, and you will face more than one. Uh, abominations cannot stand against me. <laughs> I have confidence in my abilities. I should consider this more carefully. I must try. It's the right thing to do. Uh, yeah, abominations cannot stand against me. I'm awesome. If you succeed, I would owe you much. Enough that I would pledge my Templars to your cause. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. Um, yeah, we have an agreement. But that, this doesn't mean that I'm actually going to do it. Because, you know, you can change your mind. I think, I think you can change your mind. You can change your mind, right? I'm sure you can change your mind. <laughs> maybe, maybe you can't change your mind. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage. Whatever you decide. Yeah, okie dokie. So, also, I've just brought an apostate into the circle tower. That seems like a bad thing. But weirdly, most Templars don't seem to actually give a shit that Morrigan's <laughs> uh, an apostate. And I've got a dramatic Templar over here. Well, quartermaster, to see if he has anything worth no, having. You're running low on supplies, and I don't know how much longer we'll last. Yes. Would you like to trade? Yes, I shall trade. Um. Right. Always take the health potions. Never have too many health potions. And injury kits will take them as well. Oh, actually, we'll uh, maybe not take them. But I like the lesser injury kits. But like the the you know the the uh, the ones that heal two injuries. I tend not to use so much because I you know I usually heal an injury as soon as I get it. Um, anything else? Oh, he's got a backpack. Always take a backpack. He's got a remarkable malachite, which will be for shale, but you know we don't have shale yet, so we'll just be uh, taking up unnecessary space in our inventory. Got some recipes. Uh, I don't think there's anything that I particularly need there. Okie dokie, do I have anything to sell? I don't think I do. I think I've. Oh, hang on a minute. I picked up a short boat. You can have that. You can have the small metal shield that I picked up. Uh, I don't think I picked up anything else. Did I? Blank vellum. Quartz. Apparently, I did pick up other things. Um. Yeah, we'll keep all of that stuff. You never know when it's going to come in handy. Okie dokie. Oh, did I take the backpack? Did I take the backpack? I must have done because I don't have much money. Okay. So. Uh, here's what we're going to do we're going to put in like a proper save. I'm gonna call it uh, 
circle goer. Save. There we go. And then we're gonna head through the doors. I love I love this Templar. I think he's so funny. Look at him. Look, look, Morrigan, move out the way, love. Uh, yeah, look at him. Bless his little heart. He's so ready for anything coming through those doors. He's like, yeah, come on, bring it. <laughs> Do you think he's so cute? He's so cute. Right, uh, let's go through here. And we get a dramatic cutscene. Doors are closing. Disapproving shake of the head. These idiots going in there to fight the abominations and we're not brave enough to do it. <laughs> uh, oh dear, yeah, that's a lot of blood. That's a dead mage. Some dead Templars and another dead mage. Lots and lots of blood. Yes, just sort of terrible things have happened here kind of scene going on. Uh, more, more dead mages. They really had a lot of apprentices crammed into one room, didn't they? <laughs> I've got some apprentice footlockers. Uh, for Watch Guard of the Reaching, which we may or may not do. It's one of those annoying quests. That, uh, you know. Might do it, might not. It's it's sort of like awkward and annoying. It doesn't really get you anything. There's a few like that in the uh, Circle Tower. I did a whole video on it, actually. It's one of my early videos. It was about the second or third video I did, I think. Oh, it was quite a good one though, actually. It's quite a good video. Um, you know what the video that I hate? The one that I just like, I can't even bring myself to go back and watch it. Is the How to Become a Blood Mage video. I just think it was so shit. And yet it's one of the ones that gets like the most views and gets me lots of subscribers. <laughs> I just think it was just such a shit video. I'm ashamed of it. Um, thinking about that all this time? I am simply curious. And not insecure in the slightest, I'm sure. I think I look nothing like her. I don't know. Give it a few hundred years and it'll be a spot-on match. I said that I look nothing like her. All right, got it. <laughs> totally different. I see that now. You guys really think that this is the time and place for this conversation? Like, seriously. <laughs> We've just walked into this carnage. I mean, look at it. And Morrigan started there thinking, do I really look like my mother? <laughs> Oh dear. Right, okay. Uh, what else have we got? We've got more footlockers. We've got another chest. Uh, we've got three current viewers according to the stream. That's quite good, that. Uh, like I say, I think YouTube underestimates, so we've probably actually got more than that. Uh, yeah, it's quite good since you only had like 10 minutes notice because I forgot to put a proper post up <laughs> saying we were going to be doing it. So like just 10 minutes before I was like, oh shit, <laughs> better tell them about it. Oh my god, there's blood on the walls. These are unnecessarily high ceilings as well, aren't they? Right, okay, so head in here and we should get attacked. Yep, there we go. Come no further. Grey Warden or no, I will strike you down where you stand. All right, wind your neck in, love. Chill out. I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm not here to fight. Yeah. <laughs> Dora's always here to fight. <laughs> in an empty room, she would manage to pick a fight with somebody. Uh, Wynne, what are you doing here? You have children children with you. Yeah, Wynne, what are you doing here? I mean, I know you're a mage and you live here, but like, what are you doing here? I am a mage of the circle. More importantly, why are you here? Templars would not let just anyone by. Um, I came seeking the aid of the mages. I was just exploring. <laughs> I was just exploring and I stumbled across this room. Um, I've helped Gregor resolve the circle's difficulties. Um, let's say I came seeking the aid of the mages because that is true. Let's not say that we've agreed to like murder them all. And you were told that the circle was in no shape to help you, I suppose. So why did the Templars let you in? Do they plan to attack the tower now? Um, they're waiting for reinforcements. So Gregor thinks the circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If the angles are right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. Um, my waste time here when there are abominations to kill. What happened? It's nothing less than the circle deserves. That's a bit harsh. Um, okay, yeah, let's just ask her what happened. Let it suffice to say that we had something of a revolt on our hands, led by a mage named Aldred. When he returned from the battle at Ostagar, he tried to take over the circle. As you can see, he 
it didn't work out as he had planned. I don't know what became of Aldred, but I am certain all this is his doing. I will not lose the circle to one man's pride and stupidity. Okie dokie. Um, sorry, I wasn't listening. I was reading the chat. <laughs> sorry, Wynne. I wasn't listening to you at all. Um, uh, I'm still reading the chat as well. You're back, Fred. Yay. Hello. Um, okay. Um, yeah, so what do you intend to do, Wynne? a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower so nothing from inside could attack the ship. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. Uh, hmm. We must try to avoid needless slaughter. Yeah, that's not something Dora would say. <laughs> Never in a million years. She's like, give me all the needless slaughter you want. Um, I disagree. Norman is the only option that Templars may attack at any moment. Very well, I will help you. Um, hmm. Yeah, sure, I'll help you. I mean, you know, Dora did come in here thinking that, like, all the mages were dead, and now she's found out that there's they're not, and there's, like, children here, and we don't really want to be killing them. So, um... I can't remember what happens to the children if you attack Win. Surely you can't possibly kill the children. That's usually a thing you're not allowed to do in video games. Although I suppose you can kill Connor, can't you? Although you know it is in the form of a desire demon when you do it. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll help you. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Uh, we should set off immediately. Uh, Gregor will only accept it the first channel says so. Will the children be safe? I should do this on my own. I need to consider this. Uh, yeah, uh, Gregor will only accept it if the first channel says so. Then our path is laid out before us. We must save Irving. Oh, the children run away, do they? Yeah, that makes sense. I was about to say, I don't think we would like cut down the children, you know, like Anakin style. <laughs> I mean, that would be a bit dark, even for Dora. Um, uh, yes, we'll set off immediately. You want us to assist this schoolmistress to rescue these pathetic excuses for mages they allow themselves to be corralled like cattle mindless now their masters have chosen death for them and i say let them have it all right chill out a bit morrigan you are being very judgy right now all right sometimes people just end up in circumstances kind of beyond their control and, you know, shit just happens and things end up the way they end up. And you can't... You, you've got a very black and white view of the world here, love. Um, you could have been one of them if things were different. I've made my decision. We'll help win. Um... <laughs> Hold your tongue, you harpy. You will do as I say. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, why do you treat the circle with such scorn? Yeah, you could have been one of them, Morrigan, if things were different. <laughs> if that was so, why? I'm sure I would have flung myself from the top of this tower years ago. I will allow neither mind nor body be subjugated in such a dehumanizing fashion. Well, that's very inspiring, but it's not really part of the current issue. Um, not everybody's like you. You have a point, perhaps you're right. Now, now this, that's a sneaky one, because if you pick, you have a point, perhaps you are right, win attacks you. Right? When really, it because I picked that on my first playthrough and Wynn attacked me and I had to kill Wynn and then I went through the whole game and it wasn't until I was on my second playthrough that I realised that Wynn could actually become a companion. Um, and that you could you could do it like without killing her. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's a sneaky one because it doesn't seem like the kind of thing that a decision is going to hook on. It's, it's sort of like, you know, you, it's, it, you just kind of go, oh, well, yeah, maybe you've got a point. But... Like, it, it doesn't sound like you're saying, yes, let's kill the mages. Um, uh, I've made my decision, we will help win. Um, yeah, I've made my decision, Morrigan. Just back the fuck off. Chill out, man. Have it your way. Petra, Kinan, look after the others. I will be back soon. Win, are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. Uh, you'd swap Win out for Jowen? Really? Jowen? Of all people? I fucking hate Jowen. I was like, I'm so annoyed you can't kill Jowen. Oh my god, I would like bloody chop that idiot's head off. Like, really? You'd swap Win out for Jowen? That's interesting. I love getting other players' 
um, opinions about characters. You know, like those people who like Anders. What the fuck are they on? Anyway, <laughs> um, that's really interesting that you would switch out Win for Jowen. I would, I would not switch out Win for Jowen. I would murder Jowen at the first possible opportunity. Timothy's back. Hello, Timothy. Um, uh, you can kill Jowen, can you? Can you kill Jowen? Maybe I'm misremembering. I mean, I know you can. You can't, you can't actually kill him. Kill him, can you? Maybe you can't. I don't know. Um, um, uh, uh, yeah. Like, try not to throw your back out, Win. When that happens, I usually lay about a young upstart with my staff. That gets the blood flowing and works the kinks out of these old joints. If you are ready, let us go end this. Oh, you can kill him when you first meet him, can you? Oh, I didn't know that. Um, maybe I did know that. Oh, you know, because I, I was thinking, like, once you've done the quest and everything, and, you know, when he asks you, Tegan or whoever it is, asks you, um, uh, what you want done with him and all of that, that's what I was thinking of. Um... Yeah. Um sorry, I'm just reading the chat. We've got we've got a good good amount of chat going now. The, the stream's picking up a bit. Um And yes, Fred, you can kill Win. Yes, because I did it accidentally on my first playthrough, but you can kill him. Yeah. Yeah. Um Right, okay, so we've got Win. We'll take Morgan because you know two majors is always better than one, and then we'll have to take Alistair because we don't have a warrior after that. I suppose we could bring the dog, but <laughs> Not bring the dog. Oh, if the, the if you if you take the dog into the fade, that's kind of adorable when you meet him in his little nightmare and he's just sitting there looking at you, you save him from his little nightmare. That's quite cute, but um, we won't do that. Uh, we'll take Alistair. Right, okie dokie. So Morrigan disapproves. Well, fuck you, Morrigan. I gave you lots of jewellery. You still like me. And uh, oh, there's some dead mages in here. That's a bit sad. That's a bit sad. We'll go and rob this chest to make ourselves feel better, shall we? There we go. We'll get some private documents. Why not? Um, uh, <laughs> I'm just reading the chat. Right, okay, so head through the barrier. I'm somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. Um, <laughs> impressive for an old woman. It made me very weary at times, but I had to stay strong to keep prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? Um, <clears throat> yes, I am ready. All right. Be on your guard. Okay. Um, sorry, I keep getting distracted by the chat. Right, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Just checking the vet hasn't rung me. <laughs> yes, if you missed the first few minutes of the stream, the vet might ring me at some point. So, you know, if I just suddenly disappear, be like, oh my god, the vet's ringing me. I might, I might just disappear at some point. Right, okay, there's abominations in here that need killing. Um. Oh, do you know what I should have done? I should have got bloody sandal to enchant um, Oathkeeper. I knew I'd forgotten something when I was in camp. Never mind. It's a desire abomination, apparently. <laughs> I'm assuming as a mage possessed by a desired demon, I'm assuming. You know, there's a lot about the demons and blood magic and the fade and stuff like that, which is very, very... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Vague in the lore. Which I think is probably deliberate. Because, um, you know, they don't really know much about it themselves, do they? But... <clears throat> I uh, know because I'm writing a fan fiction at the moment which centers very heavily on like abominations and demons and stuff like this and I'm, I'm doing a lot of um, like research into it and I like a lot of it is really just um, uh, like very like just contradictory and vague and stuff like that which is of course is good because it means you can kind of make up your own rules. Anyway. Um, <sighs> what I don't like about the abominations is they explode when you kill them. <laughs> so you have to like run away from them after you've killed them, otherwise you get burned in a fiery hell. Right. 
summoning font. Are we going to do the summoning sciences quest? I don't know if I can be bothered. It's kind of, I mean, it's quite a cool quest, but it's sort of irritating. I might do it a bit later. I might come back and do it. Um, oh, we've got a rage demon. Um, um, <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm reading chat. Uh, <laughs> right, okay, okay. What am I doing? What am I doing? Focus, woman, focus. Uh, go over to Morrigan. Get your uh, get your your winter's grass going on. Does Wynn have anything remotely useful? Not really. <laughs> Not really. Um, uh, right, that killed that one. And then and then and then and then and then and then and then. And then, and then I'm not really I'm not really uh 100 percent here at the minute. I don't know if you can tell. Right, okay. Um Sorry I keep going quiet. I'm just I'm just you know, I'm just being me. I'm just <laughs> Oh dear, I've had a bit of a long day, alright. <laughs> My head's just not quite here. Uh, the summoning sciences quest is impossible without the wiki open. It's not. You just need to have a notebook and the codex. Um, you know, or I could, I could watch my own video, I suppose. <laughs> watch my own tutorial video that I did on it. <laughs> that would be interesting. Um, yeah, do we have the... Has it actually turned up as a quest? Yeah, it should have done, shouldn't it? <laughs> Something sciences, yeah. Um, if we find the codex entry, although it's freaking hard to find the codex entry, isn't it? How do I get the codex up? That's 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 not it. Where's the codex? It's up here somewhere. Journal, that's it. Uh, codex. Quest related, I'm assuming. Like this is the worst codex like um, system in the world, isn't it? That they all just have random numbers, and you just have to like go through all of them until you find the one you want. Um, yeah, so exercise one, address the summoning font, select the second passage from the Tome of Spirit Postages, Postages, second shelf, uh, pass open hands to the first summoning flames. Yeah, okay, so, uh, Tome of Spirit Personages, right, okay, we'll remember that, right? Uh, okay, Tome of Spirit Personages, which is... Where's that? It's going to be somewhere. Oh, it's over there. I just saw it. I just saw it. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you you realise what Fred has just um, suggested in the chat is that I literally do a reaction live stream of my own videos where I react to my own videos. <laughs> Got it. Oh, dear. Yeah, and that summons a nug who then dies, and then you can get a uh, a garnet off it. Go, oh, wasn't that exciting? Oh dear, I think I'd be I I could do a reaction channel, you know. I think I'd be good at a reaction channel. I think that would be awesome. I love that there are channels where you can literally just watch people watching YouTube videos. I think that's <laughs> it's the most twenty first century thing, isn't it? That people watch people watching YouTube. Is there a reacting to reaction videos channel? I bet there is. I bet that's totally a thing. If if there's not, there should be. Somebody do that. <laughs> I'd watch a reacting to reaction videos channel. Um, uh, okay, okay, okay. Should we do the second one? I've started it now. I might as well finish. Started, so I'll finish. Uh, go back to the codex. Right. Exercise two. Oh, God. Rodicom's Uncommon Calling. The statue of ma 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 that guy... Is that it? Yeah, okay, I'll remember those two. Uncommon calling and statue. Uncommon calling and statue. Right, summoning font. Uh, uh, that's over that way, isn't it? Or is it on this side? I think it's over the other side. <laughs> there it is. Whoop, I, I've accidentally talked to Morrigan. Oh, she has a thought. Hello, what's the... What's, uh, oh, God. <laughs> this this is the start of her quest, isn't it? We've accidentally triggered Morrigan's quest in the middle of doing another quest. Okay, what's on your mind? We have an opportunity that I believe we should take advantage of. To the point. My mother was once divested of a particular grimoire by a most annoying Templar hunter. 
It occurred long before I was born, but even today, Flemeth speaks of the loss with great rage. With the circle of magi in such disarray, it occurs to me that this might be the perfect time to recover the tome from their possession, for surely it eventually ended up in their hands. Okay, we have triggered this quest super, super early in the game here. It's all of that bloody jewellery that I gave her. Okay, um, and we've also done it accidentally because I wasn't actually trying to click on her. Right, what makes you think the mages still have the book? Flemeth is a sorceress of legend, is she not? And her grimoire would be more than a mere curiosity to mages that don't even glance towards the places my mother has walked for eons. No doubt tis considered something dangerous, perhaps best locked away somewhere dark, yes? And if not... Then at least I know it does not exist. There is no harm in looking, surely. Okay, um... Why didn't you mention this earlier? Like, you've literally spoken to our one store. Um, what's in it for me? We'll keep an eye out for it. We don't have time for scavenger hunts. Yeah, what's in it for me, love? My eternal gratitude? At the very least, it shall enable me to help you more. Is that not worthwhile? Okay, I think we do, us two have just like clicked. I think we've just, you know, sometimes when you just click with somebody, where like, you know, you meet them for the first time and you're like, yeah, me and you are on the same wavelength. I think that's what Dora and Mora could have done. I think they just like get each other. They've got the same like, you know, snarky sense of humour and everything. Um, uh, yeah, sure, we'll keep an eye out for it. Good, I am most interested to see its contents, should it be located. The grimoire is leather bound and adorned with the symbol of a leafless tree, should you come across it. If not, however, then I shall simply put it out of my mind. Uh, uh, sorry, people are talking about other Dragon Age games in the uh, in the chat. Dragon Age Two is my favourite Dragon Age game, actually. I know that's a bit controversial, but that's uh, it's the one I enjoy the most. I don't think it's like the best game. I think Origins is like a better game, if you see what I mean. But Dragon Age Two is just fun. Yeah, I think it's got the best companions and stuff like that. Uh, the best banter, you know. It's also the one that's going to break your heart the most, I think. It's the one that's going to, like, properly rip your soul out and just stamp on it. And you're just not the same after you've played it. Um, I think that's what Dragon Age 2 does. And Inquisition... Inquisition is a good story. It's a shit game. <laughs> Like, gameplay, the combat, oh my god. It's the worst combat I've ever come across, to be honest. Except, it, I suppose, I mean, there are games that are actually, like, broken. At least it's not broken, but it's just, like... I, I, I have, honestly, because you play on controller, because it's it's designed for a controller, so it's easier on a controller. And when you get to the higher levels, like, the fights are so tedious. They're not hard, they're just boring because the, the the you know the bosses like take so long to defeat but they're not hard to defeat and because they got rid of healing but in which is just stupid because it goes against the law i mean there's literally healing magic in the law but apparently no no we don't have healing magic and we don't have health potions anymore um so instead they just like give you loads of abilities that make you really like like you can like um you know have like barriers and stuff like that to defend yourself and but it means that at higher levels you just become invincible nobody can actually get through your barrier and like um, uh, sorry, I'm reading the chat again. Uh, I'll ignore it until I finish talking. Um, yeah, so, so like, once you get to higher levels, you're basically untouchable. So, but the, the fights are so boring. And honestly, I have, like, I've done it where, like, I've tied, like, a hair bubble around, the like, the, the trigger button on the controller so that the character's just, like, constantly attacking and then gone off and made a cup of tea. And I come back and then just sit there and watch the fight. And I want to do a video of it, actually. I want to do a video that proves that how broken Inquisition's combat is. Because I swear to God, it's just... It's it's, it's mind-numbingly dull. But characters are brilliant. And, like, you know, all, all of, like, the companion quests and stuff like that. And the relationships and the, the storylines and the actual quests themselves. Absolutely fine. But the combat, fuck me. No, it's awful. Anyway... I'm just gonna summon this guy. I'm gonna get around behind him. I don't know why I always go behind people to pickpocket them. You probably don't need to, but it just feels like I should. And I'm gonna pickpocket him. Oh, we failed. We failed. I can't remember what it is you pickpocket of him. I don't think it's anything particularly exciting. But um, yeah, you have to pickpocket him if you want to get whatever it is he has. Um. Um. Uh. Oh, I have never returned Fenris to Daenerys, no. 
I don't know if you were talking to me or if people are talking amongst themselves in the chat. <laughs> that may be. Uh, I'm just going back and reading what people have said. Um... I think you're all just talking amongst yourselves. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Right, okay. Um, right, we'll do the third one. And then we may as well do the fourth one as well, since, uh, you know, with, with, with... What am I doing? Codex, 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 codex. Codex, codex, codex. Right. This is the annoying one, isn't it? Um, I'm going to have to write this down. <laughs> I don't want to have to keep look, going back into the bloody codex. Right. So... What is it? Uh, Elvon's Beastery or something. I'll write that down. <laughs> uh, common table. Common table. This is, I, I, mean, I like this quest because it seems like something that would happen at Hogwarts, doesn't it? Uh, spiritorium. Yes, that word. Spiritorial. Uh, the the statue again. Uh, dried hemlock in the novice phylactery. Novice phylactery. I definitely spelt phylactery wrong there. Um, and then the third something flames. Okay, that's not too hard, right? It's not too hard, right? Uh, <sighs> Elvon's Beastry is over here, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm reading the chat again. Yeah, is it, sometimes you start talking amongst yourselves in the chat and then I'm like reading what you've been saying and I, but I've like obviously come in the middle of a conversation and I'm like, eh? <laughs> That's all right. That's okay. Um, no, I've never given Fenris to Daenerys. I've also never given Isabella to the, um, to the Canary. I just can't do it. Can't do it. I can't do it. It's just, you know. I probably could do the Fenris one if I was playing like a, you know, a horrible character, but I can't do it to Isabella. I can't. I, I cannot, because she's got, like, you know, trust issues and everything and thinks that everybody's going to betray her. I can't prove her right. I can't be, like, you know, the one who betrays her again along with everybody else and abandons her again along with everybody else and just, like, you know, turns her into a proper bit of twisted person with this horrible view of the world. I can't do it to her. I can't. Um, yeah, I like Isabella too much. And then we need the novice phylactery, which I believe is right here. And then this is going to summon, I think, like a bear thing that we have to kill, right? Is that a thing? Uh, yay! There we go. And that completes the quest. But then there's an extra secret part to it. <coughs> um. Yeah. And down the bear goes. Boop! That was a very dramatic death, wasn't it? And then we can loot something off it. Ooh, charged mitts. How exciting. Uh, Morrigan's leveled up. Excellent. So you can have uh, two in magic, one in willpower, isn't it? Yeah, I think. <laughs> you know, just trying to remember my own bloody tutorial. Um, oh, what do we want to give her? What do we want to give her? Uh, we could do Code of Cold because that's always useful and there will be a lot of rage demons in this particular bit. We could do heal, but I prefer to have, have like... If we're going to have her and win, I'm probably going to be bringing her and win both along because I always just think it's best to have two mages. Um, especially have like one be the healer and one be the attacker. Um, uh, um... I do like to get the old entropy magic up. I tell you what, we'll go Cone of Cold because you can never go wrong with that and then we'll think about it, you know, later. <laughs> um, right, and then if we do the fourth one. So, fourth one combines the first three. I keep going into inventory when I'm meant to go into Codex. Right, um, so we need the Tome of Spirit Personages and then we need 
uh, Rudder comes uncommon calling and then we need the statue and then we need exercise three again. So yeah, you do all of them together. And then, actually we need to go through that door first, don't we? Hang on, we'll go through here and we'll kill what's in here. Because the fourth summoning front is in here, you see. Uh, get me Morrigan out. We like to play as Morrigan. And uh, see if we could use our cone of cold. It's a perfect opportunity. And there we go. And then Wynne can use her uh, stone fist. Um, Um, sorry, I'm just reading what people are saying in the chat. Um, uh, if I get... Where to do a group heal? Because I was like, I was focusing on the chat and like completely ignoring the battle there, which is why everybody's dying. Morrigan, you need a health potion, my love. Okay, now what? We are swimming in health potions. Right, then you do another code of cold. Actually, focus on the battle. Focus on the battle. <laughs> um, I need win, I need win, I need win. I need you to do a stone fist. It's the greater rage demon. I should set that in her tactics, actually. That's a good idea, getting her tactics. Uh, enemy status. It's paralysed, isn't it? If they're uh, frozen like that. I think it's paralysed. Uh, yeah, let's go with paralysed. And use ability. Stone fist. There we go. Uh, and then... Yeah, we came a bit close to dying there because I was just like distracted. <laughs> um, oh, can you hear the dogs barking? Can you? Yeah. Uh, that's. Well, there's a dog like over the other side. It might be him, but then there's also a dog like next door. And it's so funny because the cat will jump up. My cat will jump up onto the, uh, onto the wall. It's like a seven foot high wall. So the dog can't get to him. Right, but if the dog's in the back. Out, out, like out, out in its back garden, my cat will jump up onto this seven foot high wall and just sit there and look at this dog and the dog goes fucking mental because there's a cat and he can't get to it and my cat's just like the most chill in the world and he just sits there looking at him like, yeah, what are you going to do about it, mate? What are you going to do? And he just sits there and looks at him and the dog goes freaking crazy and honestly, it's the funniest thing. Anyway, yeah, so the fourth summoning font should appear around there, shouldn't it? Um... Uh, right. <laughs> okay, so... Um... Can anybody remember what, what Bat said in the Codex? I thought we all made this live stream. We've been going like an hour and a half and we've done like no. <laughs> That's alright. Uh, right. Uh, Tome of Spirit Personages. Rodicom's Uncommon Calling. And then the statue. Okay. And then I've got the others written down. So, Tome of... Was it the tome first? It was the tome first, right? Wasn't it? Was it the tome first? I think it was the tome first. Um, you're a dog person, but you appreciate cats as well. You see, I'm a cat person who sort of appreciates dogs as well. I've already forgotten what was in the bloody... I don't think I'd ever have a dog. I don't think... I mean, I, 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 my current lifestyle would not be... Con 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Agreeable, I'd say, to having a dog. Because... Um, I work too much, I think. That's why I've got two cats instead of one, because uh, I would feel bad leaving one on its own all the time. Um, what the f where the fuck is that bloody tome? Is it around here? It's around there. Um, I'm kind of picky about dogs. I'm not, I don't, like, love all dogs. But, like, I love all cats. Any, any cat. any cat. You put any cat in front of me and I will fall in love with that cat. Whereas dogs, I'm a bit more like... Eh. There are certain dogs I like, but... Uh, they're a bit needy. <laughs> One of the things I like about cats is that they like affection and everything. They'll come and get cuddles and then they just leave you the fuck alone. They just have, you know, they get to the point where they're like, that's enough, I'm going now. And I'm like, you know, I'm cool with that. Um, Uncommon calling and the statue. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uncommon calling. Yeah, I keep pausing to re read the chat, I'm sorry talking about cats and dogs uh, and what was it it was the statue and then I've got the rest of them written down so yeah you combine the first three together and you get a secret 
Uh, it's not a very exciting secret, but it's a secret. Um, so then we need Elvorn, wherever that is. It's over this side, isn't it? Yes, I am also not active enough to have a dog. Uh, I mean, I suppose, I, I suppose if I had a dog, I probably would become active enough. But, like, then I would be leaving my cats all the time, you see? So that, that would be, I would be leaving the cats at home to go and take the dog for a walk. And, uh, you know, it just, it just wouldn't, wouldn't be a thing. Um, Spiratorium over there. And the statue again, and then the novice factory. But yeah, I don't understand how people have dogs when they like work full time. Like, because like dogs tend to. Um... Uh, it's a statue, wasn't it? Yeah, Dog dogs tend to like just sit by the door and wait for you, don't they? <laughs> Whereas, like, I mean, I've got a camera so I can watch what my cats are doing when I leave, and like they literally just go to sleep. That's that's what the cats do. They just you know. They're not bothered. Um, although then they do they do go and sit by the top of the stairs when I'm due home. And sometimes like if I'm if I don't go straight home from work for whatever reason, and I check the camera, and they're just sitting there waiting for me, and it <laughs> makes me a bit sad. Um, what also makes me sad is that like when I'm here and they're walking around the flat, they've always got their tails up, which you know means they're happy and everything, and and they're just walking around with it even if they even if they're completely ignoring me. You know they've got their tails up, and then when I'm not here and I watch them on the camera and they're walking around, they've got their tails down. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> bless them. Um, right, I hope I've done this right because I wasn't really concentrating that much because I was talking about cats. Right, okay, summoning fun. Oh, this is rather awkward, what? I'm not supposed to be here. Not right at all. Uh, I think you could oh, talk to him. Rather awkward, what? Or do I have to, do I have to pickpocket him? I might have had to pickpocket him. I can't quite remember. I thought he said stuff to you. Maybe you had to pickpocket him. But you get like, it, it, it sort of, um, he gives you like the, the, the quest line of Inquisition, doesn't he? Like, he's, 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 does he not like talk nonsense or something like that? And you get like the quest line of Inquisition. Inquisition. Um... I can't remember. We did that for no reason. I don't know. Maybe you were meant to pickpocket him. I'm not sure. Maybe he had like a note on him or something. I don't know. But the point is, he sort of gives you like the quest line of Inquisition, sort of, but it's all kind of weird and stuff like that. There's a mystical site of power for the, uh, the, yes, mage people. <laughs> Mages Collective, is that what they're called? Yep, they're wonderful, probably, something like that. Well, let's just, uh, you know, rob this charred corpse. Apprentice's Amulet, nice delivery and potion, nice injury kit. Um, uh, yeah, I had to pickpocket him, did I? Okay. Uh, right, okay. So, yes, yeah, so we did that for no reason. <laughs> but, you know, gave us a chance to talk about cats. Now let's actually get on with the fucking game that we're playing. Jesus Christ. I procrastinated even, uh, even for me. Right. Uh, oh, he needed a decent level of stealing, did he? I do not know have a decent level of stealing. I didn't even manage to steal from the bloody trickster, did I? Oh, oh hello, Owain. Refrain from going into the stock room. It is a mess, and I've not been able to get it into a state fit to be seen. Um, what are you doing here? Who are you? What is this place? Yeah, who are you? I am called Owain, and I manage the Circle's magical stock room. I was trying to tidy up, but there was little I could do. Uh, uh, why are you cleaning at a time like this? The stock room is my responsibility. I must keep it clean. I tried to leave when things got quiet. That was when I encountered the barrier. Finding no other way out, I returned to work. Oh, Ween, you should have said something. I would have opened the door for you. The stock room is familiar. I prefer to be here. <clears throat> this is how you can tell that he's tranquil because, like, for most people, demons overrunning the tower would be like the perfect excuse not to do the housework, right? <laughs> Like, I don't know about the rest of you, but I am always looking for an excuse not to do the housework. <laughs> and he's still doing the housework even with demons around. Okay, um, yeah, how can you be so calm? He is one of the tranquil. The tranquil do not have emotions. I would prefer not to die. I would prefer it if the tower returned to the way it was. Perhaps Nial will succeed and save us all. Um... Uh, 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 yes, what's he trying to do? 
I do not know. But he came here with several others and took the litany of Adrala. But that protects from mind domination. Is blood magic at work here? I do not know. Nial was in the meeting. He would know. Blood magic. I was afraid of this. <laughs> Get distracted by the, the chat here. Okay. Firstly... Gregory, if you want to stay asleep for longer than six hours in a row, definitely don't get a cat. Because while they do sleep a lot, they don't sleep for like, like a lot, a lot of time, like in a row. If you see what I mean? They'll sleep for like a few hours here and a few hours there. They don't like sleep for you know seventeen hours straight. So they will wake you up like three times through the night. <laughs> and also, how often do demons take over my flat and prevent me from doing the housework? I mean. Are we talking literal demons or metaphorical demons? You know, like those in your head depression demons, because they they sometimes do take over and the housework doesn't get done. Um, anyway, okay, so so um Yeah, okay, so how is how is what worse? Blood magic, how is blood magic worse? Blood magic could control us too. Who knows what could happen then? We should find Nia. The litany will give us a fighting chance against any blood mages we encounter. I wish you luck. Perhaps this will be over soon and things will return to the way they were. Goodbye. Okay, dokey. Uh, okay, so... Let's just root through this pile of filth to get a mushroom out of it because that's the sort of shit you do when you're a video game protagonist. What a stained portrait that we can give to Sten because Sten really likes artwork for reasons. Right, okay, so... Oh, head through here. Just eavesdrop on this conversation. And then they're going to attack us. Okie dokie, because they saw us. You're a blood mage. It means you are a dastardly, terrible person. Uh, is it just me or in Dragon Age lore? Like, blood mage, they, he's being healed by his friends. That's so unfair. Um, blood mages seem to just be like perceived as being like the absolute worst of the worst. Like you could murder a thousand children and you would not be considered as bad as a blood mage as far as the people of Thedas are concerned. I just always find that quite funny. <laughs> they just like blood magic is perceived as like the absolute worst evil of all evils. Um, I mean I know it's bad but I, I feel like they overstated a bit. Uh, let me show you Mercy Maleficar, you'll find none here. That's a bit dramatic. Why should I spare your life? The people you killed didn't want to die either. That's a very good point. I know I have no right to ask for mercy, but I didn't mean for this death and destruction. We were just trying to free ourselves. Aldred told us that the Circo would support Loghain, and Loghain would help us be free of the Chantry. You don't know what it was like. The Templars were watching, always. Uh, enough self-pity, you'll die for your crimes. So you fought back. Why well, turn to forbidden magic? You have expressed your concerns to the Chantry. Oh yes, because that would have done a lot of good, wouldn't it? Um, what you've done will make things worse for future mages. Um, okay, I think Torabella probably understands the concept of, you know, fighting back. The magic was a means to an end. It gave us... It gave me the power to fight for what I believed. Fighting for what you believe is commendable. The ends do not always justify the means. You don't really believe that, do you, Win? Change rarely comes peacefully. Andraste waged war on the Imperium. She didn't write them a strongly worded letter. She reshaped civilization, freed the slaves, and gave us the Chantry. But people died for it. We thought someone always has to take the first step, force the change, no matter the cost. Nothing is worth what you've done to this place. And now Aldred's gone mad, and we are scattered, doomed to die at the hands of those who seek to right our wrongs. What I think, one of the things I think is quite interesting about the whole Mage Templar thing in Dragon Age is that um, it, it seems that most of the fandom are on the side of the mages. Right? But when you actually play the games and you actually look at it, mages are almost always portrayed as like the villains and the Templars as the victims. When you actually, it doesn't, I don't know, I don't know how, if it, that necessarily comes across, but when you, when you actually think about it, 
the amount of mages who resort to blood magic and then end up, you know, becoming abominations or summoning demons and just call... And particularly in Dragon Age 2. I mean, Dragon Age... By the end of Dragon Age 2, it is hard to still be on the mages' side. Um, and, and then you've got, like, things like poor Cullen being, you know, tormented and tortured mentally by all of the terrible things he's seen and all that kind of stuff. And yet still the majority of the fandom are on the side of the mages. And the games try so hard to turn you against the mages. It's like they, they just... So many of the mages that you encounter in the games are like, no good people! <laughs> you know, and it's... it's I, I just find it interesting. Um, I find it interesting because it's like a real... It's not like proper clear-cut good versus evil. There's a real grey kind of you know area where you just can't work out who the good guys are and who the bad guys are and you know i love that about dragon age um uh okay you know we cannot allow blood mages to live i don't think dora would say that because i don't think she really probably knows what blood mages are to be honest um all you do is wallow in self-pity that's pathetic what else can i do i'm trapped here um Uh, uh, do you know what? I find it fascinating that we have a viewer who has not played the game. I find that really genuinely fascinating that I have managed to attract a viewer who doesn't doesn't play and is still watching. That's I, phew, I'm I'm flattered. I really am. Right. Um, I could die with dignity. I'm sorry, but I don't know what I could do. Uh, I will spare you, but I will not help you escape. Let's go for that. Thank Okay, joke. I don't often kill her. It just feels a bit unnecessary. Um. Right. Okay. The rose volé. We give that to Wind, don't we? Wind likes books. Um. Bell's cash is over here. That was a quest I picked up at some point, probably. I don't know. <laughs> we know about Bell's cash, and we've got stuff. Uh, that's that's all the matters. And I love this chest. Charm of the flame. We've got more apprentice notes. Um, for watch guard of the reaching long before the circle it was always unlikely that we were the first to bring magic to its halls okie dokie the tower was here before the circle that's interesting it must be a, a an imperial thing the imperial you can see the imperial highway goes out to it doesn't it um I don't know why they don't just fix the imperial highway you know i feel like it's, it's all like in ruins across the place then i mean i know the imperium's evil and everything like that but you know it would be useful to have the imperial highway back wouldn't it right i'm gonna take a short break like five minutes um check on me cats make sure you know they're not doing anything dastardly um and i will be back yeah in probably about 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 five minutes Right, I'm back. That wasn't even five minutes, was it? <laughs> I got, I left my phone in here and I got paranoid that the vet might would, 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 would like ring me in the bloody five minutes that I stepped away because that would just be typical. Right, okay. Uh, put us back on the game screen. Uh, 
see what's been going on in the chat. Not that much. Excellent. So, uh, I still haven't made up like a special be right back screen, and I want to do a um, I want I want I want a kitten dramas screen screen. <laughs> So that if there's any kitten dramas that I actually have to step away from the live stream to resolve, just have like a kitten drama screen that I can put up. I think that would be quite cool. Um, I keep I keep saying, oh, I'll, I'll have it done for the next live stream, and then the next live stream comes around, and I still haven't got it done. So anyway, um, uh, just hang on, sort my chair out. Right. Uh, what are we doing? We will head through here. Uh, there's some abominations for us to kill. Ooh, hunger abominations. You don't come across many hunger demons, do you? Um, that seems to be a thing they forgot about in the later games. Uh, and the abomina I hate the fact that the abominations explode. You've got to like, run away from them. And uh, there they go. <laughs> it really annoys me. I freaking hate abominations. Um, uh, Reading the chat. Uh, uh, what other games do I do in my live streams? I only live stream Origins. This is this is only like is this the fourth live stream or the third? Fourth? I think it's the fourth. Uh, it might be the third. Fourth. Fourth. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's one. I haven't been doing it very long, uh, but I've been making videos for like three three years, two years, three years, something like that. Uh, since before COVID, and I've done. I'm doing Oblivion. I'm doing an Oblivion series. Um, what else have I done? I don't know. Fred, tell him what. what <laughs> tell him what I've done because I can't remember. Um, I know I did a. Uh, I did a Prince of Persia one, didn't I? Which didn't get finished. I did a Sims one that didn't get finished. I did a Resident Evil that didn't get finished. <laughs> I did an Elite Force which did get finished. Go me. Um, I've done Dragon Age tutorial videos. I'm sure I've done something else but I can't think what <laughs> um, I'm actually currently recording a Halloween series yeah I'm getting ahead of the game uh, we're gonna be playing Alice Madness Returns for um, Halloween that's gonna be a little Halloween mini series we're gonna do and now that I've told you about it it's gonna have to go ahead I should have definitely had Morrigan up first for that room so we can do a code of cold there we go um, oh, Mass Effect! I didn't. I did a Mass Effect one series, didn't I? That was good. And then Mass Effect two, I got like five parts in. And my computer died, and I never got back to doing it. So yeah, there's a lot of half finished series out there that you can watch. <laughs> um, right. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, Frostpunk. Yeah, I forgot about Frost Frostpunk. Frostpunk was a good series. I enjoyed that. Um, that was a spontaneous series I did on Frostpunk. That was meant to be like a one-off video and I just, just, just turned it into a series. <laughs> uh, and I went back recently and, and had a look at... Um, oh, there's an abomination over there. Can you see him lurking? I went back recently and looked at like what views... I don't really look at like how many views my videos get, to be honest. I just kind of upload them and then forget about them. I don't really you know, care about views. Um, but it is interesting when you go back and look. Banished! That was another series I did. Banished did quite well in the views department. Um, uh, but Frostpunk, they got the vi those videos got like five views each. Um, and it's weird because nowadays my videos tend to get on average about 30, 40 views. Um, you know, in the first few days of upload. But I go back to the older ones and they only got like five or six. Uh, and it's just weird. It's weird to go back and look. And then you've got the Dragon Age Beginners leveling guide, which has like... 14,000 I think um, and that that terrified me I saw that that, that was on like I think it's 14,000 and I was like oh my god <laughs> that's a lot of people <laughs> that's a lot of people I found that a bit scary so uh, I, I, I now don't go and watch uh, I, I, I don't go and look at, at, at how many views that one has because it scares me um, yeah that's where most of my subscribers come from though um uh Uh, sorry, I'm reading the chat. Hang on. What you just said, Fred? What? I don't know what you're talking about, Fred. 
Oh yeah, banished. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, banished was a good series. That was a good one. That was uh, that was the first chill series, wasn't it? Oh, I forgot about those abominations. Oh my god, I am not on my game when I'm I'm getting distracted by the chat and I'm just like. <laughs> um, uh, see how many of these you can freeze. Freezing people freak. Oh, we got a shatter. I love it when you get a shatter. Oh, oh, is the game crashed? Are you gonna crash? The game's crashed. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um. <laughs> Yeah, Origins crashes a lot. This I'm surprised this is the first crash we've had, actually. We'll we'll jump back in. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um Just read in the chat while we're here. Uh, I feel like that must be quite a big latency on the stream, actually. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just reading the reading the chat. Right, okay. Uh, I don't know where my last save was. Jump back in and have a look. Uh, hang on, I'll actually let you see the game. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Where are we? Oh, we're, the, we're here, man. We're here. Um, I just need to re-pick these chests. Yeah, Dragon Age does crash quite a lot. Uh, you know, it's just a thing that happens. <laughs> it's the thing you get used to when you play Dragon Age. Right. Try this again. And I forgot to run in with Morrigan again. Bloody hell. Now she's got a cone of cold. We kind of want her up front. When the enemies run at you and you can get them all in, a, in the uh, in the cone of cold. I love that. My favourite things. And then get you in Winter's Grass. He resisted the shatter this time as well. What an asshole. Um, I think does Shield Bash shatter them? I feel like Shield Bash shatters them. But he's already used Shield Bash. That's annoying. Um, and I know there are rogue abilities that shatter them as well, but I can't for the life of us remember which ones they were. Um, uh, well, he died, so you know, <laughs> that's all that matters really. <laughs> um, get this one down before he kills Morrigan. There we go. Uh, uh, oh, Welsh friend is back! <laughs> Yes, you have joined in time for technical issues. It's not the internet this time, it's just Dragon Age. Uh, silver Chain, we'll probably give that to Morgan. And, oh, look, a talking cupboard. This <laughs> this closet seems to be trembling slightly. You hear soft wind is coming from inside. Kick the door open, hello, it's all right, you can come out with somebody in there. Let's just kick the door open. That feels like a Dora thing to do, doesn't it? Please don't hurt me. I'm no one. I'm not important. I just I don't want to die. Oh, Maker. Um, uh, you're not going to die. Pull yourself together. It's all right. I don't mean to frighten you, pathetic fool. Why should I do with you right now? Yeah, you're not going to die. Just pull yourself together. Thank you. I, I suppose I can breathe easy now. Godwin, mage of the Circle of Ferelden, at your service. Uh... Uh, I'm pleased to meet you. How did you end up in that closet? Keep your hands where I can see them. I don't trust you. Yeah, how did you end up in there? There were demons everywhere blocking my exit. I decided that the best thing to do in that situation was to hide and be very, very quiet. I just really want to be somewhere safe. I think I might stay here for now. Maybe go back into my closet for a little while. Uh, you could come with me. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like he wouldn't be much use unless you want to use him as a human shield. Sounds like a good idea. I've killed most of the demons. You could escape. Yeah, I've killed most of the demons. Can you go where? The Templars have locked the door. I'm just going to stay here and see what happens. Okay, very well. Take care. Thank you again for saving me. May we meet again in happier, less life-threatening times. I will probably smuggle Lyrium to you at some point in the future because that's the kind of character I am playing. Um, okay, yeah, he's he's the one you can smuggle Lyrium to once you get to Ulzamar and you meet what's his name and he wants you to smuggle Lyrium, you smuggle Lyrium to that guy. Right, okay. Carry on in. How long have we been going? We've been going like nearly two hours and we're not even, like, we haven't even got to the fade bit yet. Oh, people arguing. Uh-huh. Aldred said... 
Yeah, yeah, the blood mages are all... Oh, he turned into an abomination as well, did he? The blood mages are all just, like, you know, arguing with each other and stuff. I really need an area of... Area of effect spell. Um, on one of these two, because that is begging for a fireball, and I, I don't have a fireball, so... Yeah, uh, we'll just have to run in and stab them instead, while they're distracted by the abomination. And apparently that abomination was taunting them there. Turned up on the subtitles. Uh, it's to have the subtitles on because otherwise you miss things. Oh. Uh, put you down. Come on, come on, die. There we go. Whoops! And then you exploded. Of course you did because you're an abomination. Uh, so yes, I think I've, I've, I've been sort of trying to work out why blood magic is seen as so evil. Um... Because a lot of people, like a lot of the fans, make the argument that it's just like a means to an end. Uh, and it's not the magic itself that's evil, it's what you do with it. But then I'm like, but you have to like make a deal with a demon in order to get the magic, right? So that's never going to be a good thing. And I feel like it must make them more susceptible to becoming abominations. Because when you play the game, so many blood mages turn into abominations. Like more than non-blood mages. So it must make them, you know... Because if they had to make a deal with a demon, then that demon then, like, knows about them and stuff, right? Um, uh, sorry, I'm just reading the chat. I, you know what? I, I love this chat. I love how everybody's just, like, hanging out, getting to know each other, talking about life. Um... Oh, I'm sorry you lost your cat. 21 years old. That's good going, mind. Yeah. Um, 21 years old, blimey. We lost our cat up in Scotland when I lived up in Scotland before I moved out of home. Um, she had, I think, was it kidney failure or liver failure? I think it was kidney failure. And... Uh, and it was awful because they put her I, it must have been kidney failure because I'm sure they put her on dialysis but it was like overnight she stayed at the vets overnight on this was it dialysis it was a drip or something I can't remember it, it was meant to like perk her up um, and then like the next morning kind of went in expecting her to be all perky and bright eyed and everything and she really wasn't she was just like just lying there looking at you but it was so horrible because you think she, you know she's been there all night not knowing what was happening. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, it's it's, hor it's horrible, isn't animals? It really is. So at that point, it was like, oh, it's just cruel to keep on going, you know. Yeah, I think sometimes I think well, losing animals is worse than losing people. <laughs> and I don't know because like lose an animal, like a pet, it's the way that they're like completely dependent on you, and that's the thing that always gets me when they're like, you know, they're completely your responsibility. Whereas people. Except very little children, you know, aren't. But children grow up and then, you know, become their own responsibility. Whereas pets are always, like, your responsibility and, you know, gets to you, doesn't it? Anyway, let's talk about happier things. Um, like demons and abominations. Um, oh, God, I launched a bloody fireball that way. That's not what I wanted. I don't want fireballs. I want, I want code of cold. That's what I want. Uh, oh, you're going to get Dora in that if you fail that one. <laughs> um, uh, uh, people still talking about cats. And blood magic. I love the conversations we have in this chat. Cats and blood magic. Uh, and there we go. Okie dokie. Um... Still talking about cats. Yeah, still talking about cats. <laughs> uh. Oh, uh, the reason I mentioned my cat was because she was only like... Well, she was a rescue, so we don't actually know how old she was when we got out. I think she was about five. She was found in a barn with a load of kittens. She was rescued. And... Uh, she was funny because she wasn't. She she stayed in the rescue center for ages because nobody wanted her. 
because she wasn't like the most affectionate cat. She wasn't aggressive or anything. Like she never ever like hissed or bit anybody or anything like that. But she wouldn't like come running up to you for cuddles or anything like that either. She was very independent. Um, she was, she, you know, she wasn't like super, super friendly. Um, so nobody wanted her because, you know, she just, she wasn't like a really cuddly cat. So we got her and uh, so I reckon she was about five. She hated other cats, loved people, hated other cats. She used to chase foxes <laughs> out of our garden. <laughs> I remember this one day she was out in the garden because we lived in the middle of nowhere, proper rural, and she was out in the garden and this fox came trotting up the driveway and I was freaking out because I was like, foxes eat cats, right? <laughs> Trying to get her to come in and she saw this fox and she just went for it and this poor fox like ran, <laughs> ran out of our garden, bless her. But yeah, she used to you to chase off anything that came too close. But um yeah, so they reckon she was about five when we got her, probably, but they didn't know exactly. And then we only had her about four or five years, I think. So, you know, she was only about maybe ten, uh, something like that. You know, she had a good life, I think, with us. Uh, mind you, we never had a mouse problem until we got a cat because she used to bring them in live. <laughs> she wouldn't eat them or kill them. She would just bring them in and then chase them until she got bored. And then, you know, we'd have a have a house full of mice. Anyway, um, got a chantry amulet, we can give that to Liliana. And charred corpse, there's one of the revenants in here, isn't there? Um, uh, uh, right, sorry, I'm just reading the chat. Right, okay, 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 okay. We want to fight this revenant? If we don't fight this revenant now, we're going to have to come back and fight it. We may as well fight it now. I think we're a good enough team. We've been doing pretty well, considering I'm so distracted that I'm hardly paying attention to the battles. We seem to have been doing quite well. Right. Let's let's talk to this toppled statue. Um, <laughs> um, uh, a statue of Andraste lies defiled. There is a small glass phylactery at the base, somehow sealed within the otherwise solid stone carving. Continue. The area is unnaturally cold. Dark shapes swirl around a slip of paper within the vial. Take the vial. The glass fractures at your touch. Did I save the game before I did this? I can't remember. And um, there's a revenant. Um, I hopefully saved the game. Did I save the game? I might not have saved the game. Uh, okay. So, if you can do a corner cold. Uh, win. If you can do a stone fist. And, oh. Morrigan froze Alistair. Oh, I just hate when that happens. <laughs> and Dora, you get round behind and do a bit of stabby stabby in the back. Actually, have we got any poisons you could use? We probably do. I always forget about poisons. I should put them on me thing. Put them on me thing. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Uh, just remind me that they're there. I've also got acid flasks. I always forget about acid flasks. Always forget about poisons and stuff like that, honestly. There we go. Poison your blade. Um, oh god, we're gonna die. Um, it's got that big swing attack, hasn't it? Which just damages everybody. Do a group heal win. There we go. And I mean, we're getting its health down quite quick. The trouble is, it does a lot of fucking damage very, 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 very quickly. Um, uh, I don't suppose dirty fighting would work on it, would it? No, I didn't think so. What if you kick it into theoretical balls? No, that didn't really do anything either. Um, uh, oh god. <laughs> Is the poison still on? Yes, okay. Uh, you can do a deadly strike. Why are you picking on me? Don't pick on me. I mean, I know I'm, you know, adorable and everything, but... <laughs> uh, you want to do another stone fist win? And then... Fuck. Everybody needs a health potion. Nice and quick. Everybody needs a health potion. Uh, oh, you haven't even got the health potions on your bloody thing yet, love. Get them down there. Um... Uh, you can probably just take a lesser one. Because they heal up the mages more, don't they? Because the mages have high magic. See? Higher your magic, the better potions work against you. There we go, everybody's healed up. <clears throat> um, running out of abilities here, guys. Uh, what has Morrigan got? She's got lightning. Use a bit of lightning. Uh, I like she's also standing on top of the chairs to get a better uh, vantage point. Uh, hex it. Um, uh, 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 Fred is shouting at me. I know he said Alistair there. 
Uh, okay, vulnerability hex. That's a good idea, actually. And I should have definitely have frost weapons on. Why do I not have frost weapons on? Um, and you can do a bit of drain life, even though you don't need it. Oh my god. Uh, everybody needs a health potion. Dora, take that health potion quick, love, and then take another one. I don't want anybody to die. I don't want to have to use my injury kits. Oh, that, I've got quite a lot of them. Um, and then lightning. And frost weapons. And, oh, wind just healed me up. That's nice. Uh, and then... Oh, we actually managed to freeze him. I didn't think that would actually work. And then... Fuck a monkey. Okay, okay, okay. Health potion. Health potion. Health potion. Health potion. Okay, everybody heal up. We're all good. We've got so many health potions. You know, it'll be fine. Actually, he's not doing that much damage to Morrigan, really, considering that she's a mage and she's got no, like, damage resistance. Um, yeah, okay. I need you to take a bit of a Lyrium potion, please, my love. In fact, I should put them on your, 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 your hoochie. Um, uh, I'm just reading the chat to see if there's any, you know, hints, <laughs> any useful tips. No, uh, no, 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 no! Don't take the bloody health potions. I was doing that so that she could group heal for the sake to try and like spare us the health potions. Group heal! Who just died? Was it Morrigan? That's unfortunate. Morrigan was quite important to my kind of, you know, strategy, which was. Yes, I probably had a strategy. <laughs> oh dear, take another health potion. And then, I don't know, win, launch a stone fist, and then heal up Dora. And then Dora, take another health potion, because Flippin' Eggy really wants you dead, doesn't he? I mean, we're nearly there. Just do a few, um, you know. How is he managing to hit win from there? When he's doing his big swing, he's managing to hit win somehow. His sword must be, like, really long. Um, take another health potion. Yeah, this is going to use up almost all of our health potions, actually. Um, oh, dear. She keeps missing him as well. Like, stop missing him. He's not a small friggin' target, is he? Use one of your abilities against him. And then wins dying slightly. Yeah, we had so many health potions at the start of this. <laughs> oh, dear. And win revive Morrigan. I don't know if she has the revive thing yet. Oh, she does actually. Okay, revive Morrigan then. That's a good point. I thought I, I didn't know that she started with the revival thing. I thought you had to uh, level her up to that. Um, and then he's immediately going to try and cut Morrigan down again. That's 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 not cool, man. Don't do that. She's just come back from the dead. She doesn't need you, either enough. <laughs> By trying to kill her again. Uh, okay, take a Lurry Potion, and there we go, bloody hell, man. God, this last little bit of health has been a right bitch to get down, isn't it? He is clinging on for dear life, literally, and Morgan's dead again. <laughs> oh well, you're a temporary distraction, Morgan. Um... Got him! Hey, Alistair got the kill. Of course he did. There we go. Everybody okay? You've got some injuries there, Morgan. What have you got? You've got a wrenched limb, penalty to attack speed, and a cracked skull, penalty to cunning. Okay. Well, I tell you what, we'll get those sorted. You can have a, an injury kit. There we go. You feel better? Excellent. <laughs> so he managed to take down the revenant. Had a scrap of paper on him. Uh. Is that it? Sometimes you get like a second loot from the uh, revenants, but not this time apparently. Uh, has that actually opened up the quest yet? Like, uh, I don't even know what it would be under. I don't think I don't think the quest does the quest actually turns up until you've defeated all of the revenants, does it? They're just like a thing that you can do, and then once you've defeated them all, it actually turns into a quest, doesn't it? Where you can go and fight the big guy. That they've all been leading you to or something i don't know i can't remember right um i mean we've still got a fairly decent amount of health potions oh. do we have any uh 
Oh, we don't have any flasks, so we can't make any more. That's unfortunate. I could probably have bought some off the... Uh, 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 sorry, I'm just reading the chat. Uh, right. Uh, okay, you're all, you're just talking amongst yourselves. You don't need me. That's fine. I just need to, you know, check in occasionally just in case you're saying something like, Magpie, your microphone's gone off or something like that. That would be important. I have expected to find him here, but I suppose that's too much to hope for. Okay, I love how Irving's office is like pristine, completely untouched. Not been a single abomination in here, apparently. Uh, we're going to get ourselves some delicious codex entries and Irving's chest, which has the black grimoire in it. But we'll not uh, mention that to Morrigan just yet. <gasps> I've got insufficient skill to break open that chest. Oh my goodness. I'll have to come back later. Uh, there's a scrap of paper there, apparently, somewhere, if I can find a place to click. Oh my god, why is it so... This is, this is an annoyance that I have with uh, Dragon Age, is it sometimes... There! Right, look, it's the same scrap of paper there. The place I have to click is apparently there. Really? Uh, uh, I think that was a codex entry, wasn't it? And we've got Irving's journal. Uh, Irving's mistake. Shall we read that? Because it is, like, you know, relevant to the quest. Uh, I followed another apprentice through supposed secret manoeuvres today and exposed her tendency towards blood magic. The environment of the tower is such that certain modes of thought are encouraged, both for good and ill. The students think we toy with them. The truth is far more intricate and di directed. Deviant traits must be exposed early or the whole of the circle suffers. Aldrich has been very helpful in identifying the markers to look for. His skills at misdirection are admirable. I dare say that the apprentices would be shocked at his ability to manipulate them and must organise a retreat. Um, such that the other enchanters can benefit from his skills. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit sinister, that, isn't it? <laughs> a little bit sinister. Uh, the first enchanter's desk. Small painted box for the, uh, of the Friends of Red Jenny quest, isn't it? Okie dokie. So. Carry on out here. And up to the next level. I can't remember how many levels there are. Uh, right, okay, so, or you know that when I pause it's because I'm reading the chat, right? <laughs> um, is this the last level? Or is there one above this? I can't remember. I can't remember. I think I remember what's through that door, though. And if I do, I want everybody to stay still. Because, yes, this is the room with all of the corpses. So, there's all these corpses and they're about to stand up and start attacking me and they'll stand up in two waves. The first lot stand up and it's not that scary and you kill them and you think, oh, that's cool. But by that point, you're in the centre of the room and then all of the other ones stand up and suddenly you're surrounded by corpses and you think, that's really bad. And then the door at the far end opens up and a fucking arcane horror comes in and at that point, everybody's dead. But if you're clever, you do this, you walk in like this, you leave everybody else out there, you walk in and eventually you trigger the first wave and we run back out see there's only three of them it's not th not that scary at all and lure them out here and we can deal with them nice and quick hopefully if everybody wakes up there we go and get them down nice and easy Oh, the camera's got a bit fucking mental there. Okay, so that's them taken care of. And we've got a corpse goal. We'll need that for a quest at some point, won't we? And then the other ones are waking up. No, 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 no. Everybody stay here because I don't want that arcane horror. I, I want to deal with that on its own. Yeah, so suddenly there's a lot more of them. But it's much better to fight them out here rather than be surrounded by them in the room. But also... That arcane horror will have woken up. Well, I don't think it'll come this far. So I'd much rather take on the arcane horror like on its own, like not while I'm also being attacked by corpses. And this is a tactic you will see me use a lot in Dragon Age, in uh, rooms like that where you just get swarmed with enemies. The best tactic is to just like run in and trigger them one at a time, so you're only fighting like you know little groups. Because getting surrounded is the thing that's going to kill you in Dragon Age. Um, Want to try and always, you know, split the enemies up, divide and conquer all of that stuff. Oh, look at all of these delicious corpse goals that we're getting. Right, okay, I've got what quest it is you need the corpse goals for. Somebody wants them, don't they? 
I think it might be the Mages Collective. And there's the Arcane Horror. We can take him on, on our own now. Uh, hey, don't launch things at me. Oh, he's frozen me. That's not nice. My team are just stood there. Like, I've turned the thing off so they can move freely now and they just, like, not bothered at all. Guys, can we please attack the terrifying thing? There we go. Oh, that was a fireball. Now oh, I'm nearly dead. Um, Wynn, could you heal me up, please, darling? No, okay, I'm just dead now. That's all right. And the arcane horror's down. Okay. Dora, can you stand up again, please? Well, that's that bloody achievement gone, isn't it? The one where you get through the whole game without the... Uh... Oh, I've got hit trauma. Without the um, main character dying in battle. That's going to be a tough achievement to get. I mean, I suppose I could just reload, but... <sighs> that's cheating, man. Cheating. Okay, so... Is there anything else down here that I needed? No. Okay, okay. Um... Uh, I'm just reading the chat. Oh, people talking about what consoles they play on. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I love gaming nerds talking to other gaming nerds. It's my favourite thing. Right, okay. I'm still on, I'm still on the old PlayStation 4. Um, I haven't cracked and broken a PS... Uh, broken? Bought a PS5! <laughs> it's just too much money, man. And I wouldn't play on it enough anyway. Because I play most things on PC now that I've got... I mean, I got a PS4 because I couldn't afford a... I, I grew up playing on PC. On and then I bought a PS4. Which is the first console I'd ever owned. I'd never had a console before then. Um, because... I couldn't afford a decent gaming computer, but now I have got a decent comp gaming computer and I hardly use the PlayStation anymore. So, you know, it wouldn't be worth the money buying a PS5. I mostly only use the PlayStation for, um, what's it called? Last of Us. That's about the only thing I play on it now, actually. Because I have all of the games that I did have on PlayStation that wouldn't run on my old gaming PC, I've now just bought the PC versions of, so... You know, I don't really use it that much. Anyway, there's some corpses in here, isn't there? Yeah, I knew there would be. I think there's a rage demon pops up in here as well. I think. I think it lures you in, making you think it's all safe. And then does a rage demon pop up? Or is that a different room I'm thinking of? Might be a different room I'm thinking of. It's definitely one room that does that to you. Lures you in and you think it's all, you know. Thinks it's a, makes it makes you think it's a nice happy room and then bam rage demons. Oh, right. Uh, sorry, reading the chat again. Uh, right. Okay. So. Oh, abominations! Everybody loves a good abomination. How long have we been going? Two hours we've been going and we're still not at the fade yet. <laughs> oh dear. It's because I keep getting distracted, but that's alright. Um, I need Wynn to do our stone fist thing. Oh, she's going to do it automatically anyway. You've set it in our tactics, woman. What are you talking about? Dear me. Uh, <laughs> Stop micromanaging your team, woman. <laughs> right. Down. Oh, I just hate the way they explode. That's so annoying, isn't it? That bloody abominations explode like that. Because you just end up taking so much of your health down. And when you're in the middle of a battle, you can't get away from them quick enough. There's also a rage demon in there. Um, Morrigan, I need your magical powers. I need your uh, your cone of cold. Uh, don't don't get win in it, though. That would be bad. There we go. That's what I wanted. Alistair's going to die. You know what? We can let Alistair die. I think we've got more injury kits than we've got um, health potions right now. Um, Wind's kind of keeping him alive a little bit. Oh, we're getting a bit swamped here, actually. This, uh, this is uh, stuck on me a little bit, yeah. Uh, Morrigan's going to die, I think. Yeah, down she goes. It's weird to have Morrigan die more than Alistair. Usually Alistair's the one who's dying all the time. Uh, you can have an injury kit. We've got plenty. Um... Yeah, Alistair hasn't died at all yet, actually, has he? Very strange. He's usually my cannon fodder, is Alistair. And... Oh, there was a trap there, apparently. <laughs> Dora's not very good at the whole traps thing. It's cunning, isn't it, that helps you sense traps. Um... Uh... 
<laughs> uh, just reading the just reading the chat again. Talking about the kitten drama drinking game. I hope you're not participating in the kitten drama drinking game today, Fred, since I know that you are at work, right? <laughs> um, uh, right, okay. Oh, possessed Templars. Oh, I've just walked into a fucking trap. Dora is really bad at sensing the traps for a rogue. Uh, and it's pissing me off. And uh, that has just taken up her whole flipping leg. Can everybody please attack the Templars rather than just standing there looking at them? Dear me. Just because I'm incapacitated, it doesn't mean that you're not allowed to attack them. Right. Uh, here. Um, isn't it interesting that Templars can become possessed? Because I thought it was like only mages were meant to be able to become possessed, but Templars can become possessed. Does that mean normal humans can become possessed? Or is it something to do with the Templars, you know, lyrium addiction? Mind you, that demon in uh, the, the Shale's quest possesses a cat doesn't it so maybe anything could become possessed I know they possess objects and things as well don't they uh, uh, get some stuff uh, I think I probably need to uh, look in my inventory because I've picked up a lot of gear that I probably should be wearing that's a good idea we'll do that now while I'm talking about it uh, what have we got apprentices amulet amulet fire resistance cold resistance and one armor uh, fire resistance one willpower Fire resistance and 10% of healing effects received. And, you know, all of this fire resistance stuff would be very, very useful considering we are taking on abominations who explode and rage demons who have fire. Um, Sylvans are possessed trees, that's a very good point. Uh, uh, just reading the chat again. Um, yes, yeah, Sylvans are possessed trees. That's true. I think they could kind of possess anything then. Isn't it? Maybe it's a, ma majors are the only ones who turn into abominations. Maybe that's it. Uh, right. Um, 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 uh, <laughs> who should we get out first? Mm, I mean, okay, so that one's plus 5% fire damage. I don't have anybody who does fire damage, so that's kind of useless. Willpower, I will give to Win. Uh, Morrigan already has one, doesn't she? Yeah. Um, I think Morrigan said she's dying a lot. We'll give her the healing effects one. Uh, Alistair can have the apprentice amulet. And you can also have some cold resistance, because why not? And then there's no point giving that to anybody... Um, you can have a Templar helmet, why not? You are a Templar, after all. And that'll do you. And we don't really have anything else worth giving anybody, do we? Okie dokie. So. Um, just reading the chat again. Wait, what do you mean the healing effect is bugged? I didn't know about this. Is it really? How is it bugged? Does it just like not work at all? Oh, that's a bug I didn't know about. Though I know about most Dragon Age bugs because there are quite a few. <laughs> um, uh, not, not like in a terrible way. It's sort of a quirky way, you know. It's sort of like you know, it, it's a, it's a, it makes the game kind of quaint. All of its bugs, but it's not like none of them make the game unplayable or anything like that. Make the game more interesting, I would say. Oh yeah, these torn pages that we're picking up is a, a, a quest. That, um, oh shit, it's this room. Oh fuck, this, we are going to die. This room kills me a lot. Um, okay, that demon is yelling, Arise my pets, your mistress commands it. So there was some serious fucking roleplay going on in this room. Um, yeah, this, this, is, this is a terrible room. This is really awful. Right, we need to get the demon down, I think, before anything. So... Oh, that's so many Templars, though. Right, everybody attack the demon. Everybody attack the demon. All right, all right. And then, Morrigan, I'm going to let you do a cone of cold to just try and, like, you know, keep these Templars occupied. There we go. And then just see if we can get that desire demon down, because what a fucking bitch she is. Just like, oh, we shattered one of the Templars. Get in. 
Uh, that must have been wind doing that. Get that desired demon down. Come on, we've almost got her. Get her down. Quick, 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 quick. There she goes. Okay, I love the sexy death that they do. Just like, gotta show me pointy boobs in the air. Um... Uh, I hope these desire demons aren't going to get me in trouble with YouTube, actually, because, like, I know they, um, I, I had a thumbnail on one of, like, the early videos that I did that had uh, a desire demon on it, and uh, it got removed because it was considered inappropriate. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. Uh, sorry, just reading the chat again. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, the, yeah. I, I, might, I might just get my channel cancelled or something like that. Um, show with the, uh, the old desire demons. And then they... Oh god, Dora's about to die. I'm really not paying enough attention here. Um, do a group heal win. There we go. Um... We did really well on this room, actually. Usually I'd die about five times trying to do this room. Uh, there you go. Um, what was I talking about? I can't remember. So, oh, the Desire Demons. Yeah, they took them out of uh, Inquisition, didn't they? They were considered inappropriate. What's inappropriate about boobs? There's nothing inappropriate about boobs. How eh? <laughs> the internet is really prudish, isn't it? Like, come on. We've all got them. <laughs> Uh, yes, even men. They're just, you know, smaller. <laughs> Got it. Like, chill out, man. Um, uh, yeah, YouTube is very, very prudish. It's weird. It, it, it concerns me. I think, you know, it, it, society's entire attitude towards nudity concerns me. But uh, we'll not get into that. <laughs> because, you know, uh, this is not a political channel. Right, okay. Crack this chest open. <gasps> Insufficient skill again. Uh, we're gonna have to come back, aren't we? Yes, five pages, four majors. That's like there's a guy who's like sold the same. He's like a con man, and he sold the same, like priceless one of a kind, um, thing to loads of different majors. And uh, you you encounter him out on the road, and you can confront him, and then you have to like you know kill him. Um, yeah, that's basically that entire quest. Uh, okay, so. We haven't done Watch Guard of the Reaching. Um, might do that later because I can't really be asked right now. Is this the final room in here? I don't think it is. No, it's not yet, is it? I think there's another level yet. Uh, there's an abomination. That's a big, scary abomination as well. And we've got some skeletons, as you do. Um, yeah. So. Uh. Just reading the chat. Hang on. I'm going to let this um, combat go on while I'm reading the chat. Uh, uh, will YouTube really pay attention to lightly viewed content? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> That's tickled me, that has. <laughs> Nobody watches you, Magpie. What are you worried about? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I'll just take a health potion. Uh, what's even going on in this battle? Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's try and get the abomination down. Um, uh, uh, Sorry, I'm still just reading the chat. That's why I'm going, uh, uh, win, don't die. I need you to keep everybody else alive. Okay, I'm really not concentrating enough yet. Right, you take a health potion. Alistair, you take a health potion. Everybody take a health potion. Get this fucking abomination down. Jesus Christ. And then we've just got some shades and some archers to deal with. Um, and, oh, I heard a cat. Everybody take a drink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you alright, buddy? 
Where, 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 come back here. You've got a leaf stuck in you. You've got a leaf stuck. Okay, fine. Anyway, <laughs> um, 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 what's going on? Right, you take a health potion. Let's focus on the battle and then I'll focus on the chat. I'm trying to do two things at once and you know I'm not good at that. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, lightning bolt. i get these archers down. I'm gonna have to go back through and read the chat because I'm missing too much stuff. <laughs> uh... Right, hang on. Two seconds. I'm going back through the chat because I saw something that I wanted to say something about. I can't remember what it was. Um... Yes, yes, you're right. Many a true nerd did apparently get into trouble over the uh, the whole desire demon thing. Um, yes, I remember that. Was that when he did his um, oh, is he did like a New Year live stream, didn't he, where he played Dragon Age? Although I don't, I don't think he got as far as meeting a desire demon in that one. But yes, yes, uh, yes, I do remember that. I don't think I will though. Uh, maybe I will. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, right, okay. So, I'm not monetized, though. You know what? Even if I could, I, I would need a thousand subscribers, I think, to be able to monetize it. I, don't, I still don't think I would. I think it's just too much faff, in it? I'd have to stop swearing. Because, like, they demonetize things where you swear, don't they? It's like, I, it's like I would have to stop swearing. Like, fuck that. <laughs> I don't want to stop swearing. <laughs> part of my, uh, you know, personal identity. Um, get this shade down. This shade always hides around the corner. Um, uh, um, yeah, yeah, th yeah, that shade always, always hides around the corner. Every single time. He always thinks I won't find him, but I always do. Right. Oh yeah, it's getting a little bit abomination-y here, isn't it? With all the, you know, flesh sacks everywhere. Yeah, lovely. And all, oh look, look at the, uh, the, uh, the talons coming out of them. Excellent. And there's a statue there, which is part of the Watch God of the Reaching quest. But I'm not going to do that right now. I mean, for one thing, if you do the Watch God of the Reaching quest, then you end up unleashing a, 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 an abomination on the world, don't you? It then goes and like on a rampage and kills lots of people, and then you have to go and kill it. So like, it's really just better not to do the quest, to be honest. Um, uh, okay, so head on upstairs. Right, okay, so this, this cannot continue. We have to stop it. Wayne has apparently only just figured out that we have to stop it. Yeah, this is the bit where we get an up close desire demon, so if I'm gonna get in trouble, I'm gonna get in trouble in like the next ten minutes. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, man. Uh, I do actually have one strike against me because um the artist who made the um you know the opening screen i've got on the chill series the oblivion one that's got falcon um you know doing his naked dance thing <laughs> um, uh, the artist who drew that i linked her website in the description and her website has like you know nudity on it and that got me a strike honestly because i linked her I mean, not, it's not even bad nudity. It's like a few topless women that she's drawn. I mean, they're cartoons. They're not like, it's not like porn or anything. And that got me a strike, which is just on there permanently. I can't get rid of it. So I do actually have a strike against me because of that, which is why in the description now, it just, I've, I've just got like her name, but I don't actually have it linked to our website because it got me a strike against me. There we go. So yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> I don't know how many you get before they just like end your channel, but uh, you know. I'll just, I'll just start another one, man. I will just start another one, don't worry. 
Uh, okay, it's not like I've got like millions and millions of viewers who I would need to... Uh... Uh, right, okay, yes, there's the uh, Desire Demon we're about to see up close. Um... Uh, uh, people just talking in the uh, in the chat. That's nice. Don't think there's anything particularly directed at me. Okay, hello, love. Everything is just as you wanted, my knight. Our love and our family is more than you hoped for. Uh, demon die. <laughs> oh dear, we can't pick that one, and then we just like go straight into into battle. Actually, I suppose that would like save us from having to see the boobs, which might get us into trouble. Uh, what in Andraste's name is going on here? I'm not going to say that. I'm a dwarf. Unhand him, foul demon! I command you to stop what you are doing to this man. Actually, do you know what? Demon die is probably the thing that Dora is most likely to say. Um. Uh. Yeah. Should we just say that? Just say demon die because I don't think she's going to say any of the other things. She definitely wouldn't say what in Androsto's name is going on here. Unhand him, foul demon is a little bit dramatic, and I command you to stop what you are doing to this man is is a little bit also dramatic. So oh, yeah, demon die. What was that? Help! There are bandits at the door. They're going to murder the children. They will not get past me. There we go. We saved ourselves from a very booby cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that was, you know, the most Dorabella option there. Um, we'll just put a nice cone of cold on. This can actually be quite a difficult fight because all of these um, corpses stand up. Um, um, I'm just going to make sure that she launches her stone fist against the demon. Get her down because I have a fear. Oh, she resisted. What a cow. I have a feeling that she can heal the rest of them. So we'll try and get her down as quickly as humanly possible. Now have everybody attack her. Uh, go. And then they've stunned us. That's not very nice. Okay. Yeah, this can be quite a difficult fight. Mind you, I said that about the other room that had the design demon in, and that turned out to be surprisingly easy. I don't know why I'm doing so well on this playthrough. I mean, I know I'm only playing on normal, but still, we're quite early on, and... Uh, Doing surprisingly well. Um, just, you know, need to heal Dora up because she's like to die. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, ha, 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 ha. Reading the chat again. Right, um, okay. Uh, yeah, see if we can get. I'll tell you what, everybody attack the, uh, the Bewitched Temple. Uh, Alistair, you can have a health potion. I keep forgetting Alistair's there. He's just, like, chilling out, doing his thing. I'm, like, hardly ever needing to control him. Um, he's not even dying that often, which is weird for him. Uh, or at all, actually. I don't think he's died at all. He usually dies quite a lot early on. Uh, I mean, later in the game, he becomes much better. Dora, will you please take a health potion? Jesus Christ, you came very close to dying there, my love. Um, back over to Morrigan. It's like playing as Morrigan. It's just more fun playing with a mage, isn't it? A nice cool. Oh, you you froze Alistair Morrigan. That's the that's the second time you've done this. I'm starting to feel like you're doing it on purpose. <laughs> really were annoyed when you when he said you looked like your mother, weren't you? Um, yeah, but yeah, that was surprisingly easy as well. These fights are being suspiciously easy, and I don't know why. Especially considering how distracted I am. Got yourself some nice corpse goals. Desire Demon had a Lyrian potion on her. Uh, uh, oh, we've got the Templar armor. Um, and the Notice of what? I don't know if I've read that one before. Uh, notice of Sensha. Templar Dras, your remarks in front of the recruits are only the latest in a series of troubling events. I'm beginning to suspect that you may not be suited to the devotional requirements of training. Perhaps it is time for a personal evaluation of your career path within the Templars. I will schedule some time after the current deployment to discuss options elsewhere in the organisation. Uh, a note is scribbled in the corner. Attendant who? Opinions code for dead-end duty on hedge mage hunt in the Bannorn. Yeah, because if you actually, like, engage in that conversation with the demon rather than just shouting, Die, demon, die! Um... <laughs> Uh, you, you learn that the Templar is very unhappy being a Templar. And uh, he feels he's been robbed of the chance of a family and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, so, you know, 
but he's also addicted to Lyrium, thanks to the Chantry, so he can't really leave, because the Chantry are arseholes, and if the Mages and the Templars would just see that the Chantry were arseholes and unite against the Chantry, maybe, you know, things would actually change, but oh no, they prefer to fight each other. Oh, anyway. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> just reading what's going on in the chat. Uh, you know, you already know that I'm reading what's going on in the chat. I've said that 58 million times in this live stream. Um, you know that's what I'm doing. Oh my god. I've just walked into another bloody room full of terrifying people. I may just blindly open doors. <laughs> Normally I'm more cautious than this. Uh, everybody take on the blood mage, please. Majors are terrifying. I think majors are actually worse than demons. Um, somebody just triggered a trap. And now we're all on fire. <laughs> As happens. Win! Stand up and heal everybody, please. Come on, old woman. There we go. Um, yeah, everybody please take down the blood mage. Please take down the blood mage. If I can actually target the blood mage. Where's the blood mage? Hang on, hang on. I need to get somebody who's closer. There we go. Everybody, attack the blood mage. Alistair, if you can do a nice shield pummel. And then a nice shield bash. There we go. Oh, he's leveled up. Excellent. And then Dora's just single-handedly taken on a possessed Templar. Uh, that's another reason why blood magic's bad, isn't it? It's because it, you can like control people with it. With mind control. It's like the uh, Imperiatus curse from Harry Potter. Is it Imperiatus or Imperiatus? It's something like that, isn't it? Imperi Imperio! Something like that. Uh, ooh, Archon robes. Very, very nice. Oh, insufficient skill again? Seriously? Bloody hell, Dora. You're letting the bloody side down here, love. Uh... <laughs> Just reading the chat. Yeah, we're talking about stats for armor. <laughs> Got it. Uh, I love it. I love it. I love it when people start talking. You know, Dragon Age nerds start talking about all the stats and stuff. I'm not a stats person. My brain doesn't do numbers, but I, I find it endlessly fascinating when people like know what the stats are for armor types and stuff like that and work out all the numbers and stuff like that and oh you'll have this much defense and you'll do this much damage and stuff and I'm just like what <laughs> I mean brain don't work like that love um oh what should we give all that stuff should we just keep filling out the weapon and shield tree really unless we want to give him like threaten or something like that I think I think he's a bit too low level to want to be attracting enemies right at the minute though we want him to be able to wear better armor and stuff like that before we do that speaking of which We've managed to pick up some stuff, haven't we? So, Archon robes. Are they better than what anybody's wearing? Uh, uh, that would be a no. They look nicer, though. Oh, look at them. They're so pretty. But her robes are actually better, so... And... No, I think hers are better as well. Okie dokie. Um, I did pick up other stuff, didn't I? Uh, nothing particularly useful. And we did get some armour. I know a lot of people put Alistair in the Templar armour. Oh, that's actually pretty good, that. I just think it looks horrible. I don't like the Templar armour in uh, Origins. I like the, the Templar armour in Dragon Age 2 and Inquisition, where they sort of change it a bit. But uh, I don't like it so much in thing. But uh, yeah, I have to admit, it is better than what he was wearing. Okay, so... Do you have any better swords or anything? Nah. Uh, I can't imagine those acolyte staffs are better than. No. And Wynne will have a. Yeah, she's got an enchanter staff, man. It's got a bajillion things on it. Right, okay. Do us for now. Uh... Uh, just, just reading the chat. Right. Okay, so this might be the uh, might be the last bit actually. I think. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, I'm uh, I'm drinking. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Killing demons is enough entertainment for me. Thanks, 
Good, that will make you much easier to kill. Who is that man and what you've done to him? Uh, yeah, killing demons is enough entertainment for me. Not expect me to rest on a floor stained in blood. Resist. You must resist. Else we are all lost. Why do you fight? You deserve more. You deserve a rest. The world will go on without you. Okay. Now, everybody be honest, what is your opinion on the Fade section? Because it is one of the most unpopular sections of the game. There is a mod that removes it. I love it. I think it's brilliant. One of my favourite bits. I think it's so cool, you know, what it does with the gameplay. I understand why people don't like it, because I understand that on your first three goes of it, it seems confusing, but it's not as confusing as it seems. It's really not. It, it seems like it's confusing, but it's actually very linear. Um, once you understand how it all works, but um, I know a lot of people don't like it. Um, so yeah, I'd be interested in your opinions. Right, yeah, so we're in the Fade. I mean, you know, I mean, we're in Ostagar. There's the Black City. Oh, I love that you can actually see the Black City. It's one of my favourite things with all of its weird islands floating off of it. Um, yeah, and uh, I, did a, I did a video of... Uh, the fade like a like a lot where it was a very long-winded tutorial video it was basically a let's play of the fade section and um i forgot that this is here because you have to be in the spirit form to be able to um activate this and i forgot about it and it still annoys me to this day <laughs> uh then i forgot about it anyway head up here have a chat with duncan hello duncan ah there you are i'm not disturbing you am i uh, no, do you need something from me? Yes, you are. Can't quite remember what I was doing. Yeah, I can't quite remember what I was doing. I'm sure you were simply deep in thought. You've been at Weishaupt for some time now. Do you like it here? Uh, why are we here? We should be battling Darkspawn. I don't know, something doesn't seem right. Of course, it's a beautiful fortress. Um, yeah, it's boring, love. It's boring. You are unused to peace, but in time you will grow to love it. We need no longer fear the darkspawn. Uh, what do you mean? Don't we still have to fight? It's because those darkspawn are no longer a problem. Why don't I have to fear them? Uh, yeah, don't we? Ha don't we still have to fight? The darkspawn are gone. Remember, you were there in the last great battle. It was a triumph for all of us, bringing down the archdemon and setting the underground lairs ablaze. Uh, it's not possible you're hiding something from me. If the dogs want to go, then we are no longer needed. What shall the Grey Wardens do? Uh, yeah, you're hiding something from me. Foolish child. I have given you so much and you cast it back in my face. Can you not be content with the peace I offer? Uh, you offer complacency, not peace. The dogs want to go and to ignore them is irresponsible. I suppose I could try. Uh, um... Um, yeah, you offer complacency, not peace. I mean, that sounds like a bit of a... Uh, not quite the sort of thing Dora Bella would say. We, we can imagine that she might have rephrased it a bit. It seems only war and death will satisfy you. So be it. Have your war and your dark spawn. May they be your doom. Okay, fake Duncan. <laughs> oh, of course, luckily, since you go through the fade alone... Um, conveniently... Everybody's much weaker in the fade. You'd think it would be the other way around, wouldn't you? You'd think people would be stronger in the fa fade. Dora, can you actually attack him, love? Attack him. There we go. Uh, but no, everybody's really weak in the fade. Who's healing up, Duncan? You absolute arsehole. Oh, we're a bit short on the old health potions, actually, and I might need them because I don't have, like, heal. Um. Oh my god, will you get him down? Is the only trouble? I'm gonna have to take that mage out because he's just gonna keep fucking healing Duncan up. Um, I'm also gonna have to take a health potion. Yeah, this could be a problem, actually. 
We used up all the health potions and we're not going to find any more in the fade, are we? Um, uh, yes, because you go through the fade on your own, the battles become a little bit boring. Because <laughs> you've only got one person to, uh, to control. But you know, you get to turn into a golem, so that's exciting. Uh, oh yes, the lyrium veins heal you. Of course they do. I forgot about that. I'd forgotten about that. Okay. So, we're now in the fade. Now, uh, I have a predicament. Cause, I usually go for like three hours. We're at two hours and 40 minutes. I kind of don't want to stop playing, but at the same time, I don't think I'm going to get all the way through the fade. Um... I mean, you could do the fade in about an hour, but I get distracted by the chat, so it's going to take me longer than that. Um, right, should we call it a day? Call it a day here, and then next time we could do the fade and finish off the second, like, the, you know, the second half of the uh, the actual mage tower. That sounds like a plan. This, I mean, it is a convenient place to end, isn't it? Um, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Do you know what I was just thinking to myself there? I was thinking, right, just think about what it is you're actually going to say and then you can just edit out the silent bit. <laughs> Can't edit it out. You're live, love. <laughs> um, right, okay, we'll leave it here. We'll leave it here. I shall leave you um, with a view of the Black City, which is nice. Um, and I will see you back on Saturday at 3.30 once again. Um, seems to be working quite well, doesn't it? Um, yeah, it seems to be working quite well, like the Saturday and then the Tuesday. That's working. I mean, it's working quite well for me. I'm assuming, I'm hoping it's working quite well for you. So Saturday at 3.30 GMT. Um, I will see you back here again. And we will do the fade and we will do the rest of the Circle Tower. Thank you very much for joining me. You're all lovely, by the way. Like, the chat is just so friendly. And I just love it so much. It just, it just, oh, warms the cockles of my heart. It really does. So, uh, yes, I shall, uh, I shall see you again on Saturday.